Uh, we live. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, first thing I want to work on today is the new and improved uh, item deletion system. Uh, somewhere or other, I'm going to need a train to drop off iron plate. Unless... Well, no. I've thought about this. Um, we could smelt iron directly into iron plate here, and um, turn it into the iron chests that we're going to destroy. But then we're relying on having a surplus of iron that we're trying to delete, or we need a different system to tell us whether we should be destroying iron or not. And I would rather just leave that to the prioritization system in um, LTN. Is this what I think it is? Oh, whoops. Uh, we definitely don't need dynamic priorities on these stations. We simply want this to be the lowest priority. So get rid of that, and that, and that, and that. These ones are fine. Um, bots, I don't need copper, thank you. Okay. Um, first thing I'm going to do is turn these belts around. And we're going to completely redesign this area. We're going to use a lot more delivery cannons and we're going to set the recipes dynamically. So we don't have all of these coal ones idle uh, and iron ones. And I was thinking about putting the resources in chests. Actually, that's a really good idea. We're basically, we're basically about to do kind of a omni smelter design here. Except instead of omni smelting, it's omni item destruction. Um, should be pretty straightforward, actually. We just have to get four different resources to all of the input chests, or you know, potentially four different resources. Uh, let's remove this for now. And this as well. Might end up creating a few more bot jobs than I would like, but we might just have to put down a storage chest here. Let's see. I'll just put it here where we're not going to forget about it. And maybe I'll keep the display. We'll see. Um, I kind of forgot about these chests. I could probably just leave the bots to pick that up. On the other hand, it's all going to go back here. We've got... Nothing but construction bots here, so logistics aren't going to take it where it belongs. Hey, Mucky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. EA indeed. Four months already. That's... Where has the time gone? It's, uh... Much appreciated, Mucky. Thank you. And thanks for stopping by. How are you doing? Um, so that's the last of those bot jobs remaining. We'll need to... I think we'll just merge iron and copper and stone and coal. I don't think we're going to need more than half a belt for each. Although I could be wrong. 
Okay, just relaxing on a Sunday afternoon. Nice. You're just in time when other streamers stopped. Nice. Hey, Veldek. Good to see you again. Uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... I don't know. I, I want to fit as many cannons here as we can. Although maybe we'll have to have, like, a... Iron plate drop off over here so that we can make the chests. We'll put the iron chests in the middle of the target and we'll shoot things into that. Um, actually, now that I think about it, okay, single cylinder engine, iron plate, iron gear wheel. Should we make belt to... No, I, I think we'll just use logistic bots here. I just finished uh, LDS build and that concluded last item for my novice science builds. Nice. Just, up, just by upgrading modules in it, it'll reach 960 SPM over time. Beautiful. Should I do a multi-train stop here? Um, we could probably get a train to bring iron plate and bots. Because there will be a gradual attrition of bots. We just have to add iron plate to the multi-train pickup. Oh, this is still somehow not entirely working correctly. Young Jesus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't... If I can avoid it, I don't want to destroy belt every time we fire this thing. Um, because that would cost iron. So I'm thinking... Oh, this is going to get complicated. So, I'm thinking the best layout for this is requester chests. And all of a sudden, we're not using belts. We need logistic bots. Um, should we set requests, or should we... Like, should we dynamically set requests, or should we just have a flat amount that we're requesting of each resource each time? 7am here as well. I've been up all night playing Factorio. <laughs> oh, wow. I hope you don't have uh, some kind of commitments today. 7am in the morning? Oh, that's right. You guys are all living in the past, so it's like Sunday morning, right? I have 16 media defenses on my map. Seems enough. Never had any problem. Yeah, we've got 12 here. We haven't had any medias get through since. Yes, in the past. Ah, uh, yes, you time traveler. Yes, indeed. I think we can just set all of these to... Oh, that's, that's like two chests worth. Um, I think we can just set all resources to a full chest. We're never gonna... We're never gonna be deliberately destroying uranium. I mean, it's literally the slowest resource to come out of the, um... Core mining. I don't foresee having to delete uranium, but we could always add it if we have to. All right, request from buffer chests, go. And I might just add some chests here. We'll see how many get destroyed when we send a volley here and then we'll remove the rest. My medicine doesn't work, so no sleep. Factorio time it is. Rough. A evil plot. Good to see you again. 
welcome welcome hope you're doing well and okay so we're going to have to request blue chests i guess that means we don't have to like bring iron plate here i think it's just going to be blue chests and logistic bots uh, the, are going to be the only things we need to tell LTN to bring. We may as well include construction bots as well. So... Uh, we can do it something like this. I actually have a blueprint for this. Loaders, uh, load bots until count. Although, I think we'll just use a filter inserter because the LTN train won't leave until it's empty. Hey, Baker Staunch, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why don't we make doubly sure that there's going to be enough room here and maybe I'll just add some extra inserters as well um, this is going to be uh, logistic bots this will be construction bots and the rest are allowed to pick up anything else And then we can do our uh, usual loader here. Like so. Um, do I really not have... Oh, I see. Okay. Let's tidy up this uh, wire, shall we? Uh, whoops. So we're just setting blacklist for um, available bots. No, we're going to need more than this, right? Maybe I should set an arbitrary limit. No, this will work itself out. Horizon Effect, thank you very much for the sub. Three months of mostly lurking. Keep up the good streams. Thank you. Lurking is valid. That's what I mostly do, if I'm watching or listening. Okay, so LTN needs to bring us um, some blue chests. Let's say... That might be a bit excessive. Uh, I wonder how many we'll destroy each time. Let's just say 500. And what else? Uh, robots of both kinds. Just one stack each. Anyone Scandinavian? Good question. What's a bigot? Uh, hopefully no one here. Or they won't be for long. Let's see, what else? Is that actually it? Is that all that we need LTN to bring here? We bring the bots and the blue chests. Um, blue chests go here, bots go here. And then... Blue chests get destroyed, bots come over this way. If there's items left on the ground, bots bring them back here. Can you explain or bad men? Uh, I can explain pretty clearly and directly right now. If you're going to be obtuse about it, there's going to be trouble. Okay, so... 
How many delivery cannons are we going to need? All of them? All of them. We're going to need some crafting combinators. And we'll put them over here because we're going to put chest here, stack inserter. If we're going to use just one chest for each of these, it might be tricky to get the belts to all line up. And we could either... I don't really like having an underground belt go through here, but maybe that's the way to go about it. Is a half belt of each resource really fast enough for the maximum number of delivery cannons we're going to cram into this space? Um, I think this is actually, oh, we could just use both sides of, we could have input belts going down both sides of this thing, I guess. One, two. We also need an input belt for the actual cannon capsules. Uh, where should the cannon capsule input be? If this is going to go like this, I think for this I can live with having the input belts like so. This is five tiles, that's a bit... Let's repeat this once, and we'll end up with our template. Why doesn't this fit? That's why. Okay. So we'll do the thing with the fast inserters that are on a timer for the uh, for those inputs. Actually, we could do all of this on one side. We could have belts like this for input, uh, chests to contain the input resources. Oh, wait, I forgot why I wanted chests here. I wanted chests for the inputs for the cannon ammo so that we could probably make all of the delivery cannons fire at exactly the same time instead of the slight difference um, that we get when they're picking up off the belts. But on the other hand I kind of like this layout better so maybe we'll just keep it like this. And we could have something like iron and copper goes here. Oh, that doesn't... Why, why did I think this would line up? Hmm. We could do the old splitter thingy. Let's do it like that. If we're going to mirror this on the other side, then we would need to do something like this. So these two go here, these two go here, that seems fine. I don't think we need, um, do we even need the rows of chests for this? Yeah, because I want I want the resources to Do I want to set the recipes based on individual cannons or should there be like a central brain? A knickknock? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Thank you. Uh, I am doing pretty well, actually. Just finished work, and 
and don't have any more for a few days. It only takes... Well, no, it takes an entire stack of whatever resource to fire the cannon. So, actually, I think this makes perfect sense. Yeah, it does make sense to have chests for these. All right, we're going to need some filter inputs and some constant combinators. Hey, I am Vera. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's see. If this goes here and this goes here, What's the neatest way to connect this up? That seems pretty good. You can hardly even see the wires. Thanks, Bird. What's on the agenda today? First things first, we're redesigning the uh, delivery cannon item destruction system. We're going to have logistic bots put a whole lot of stuff in chests, and then we're going to shoot the extra remaining resources over here into the chests, Destroying the chests and most of the resources that are shot from the cannons. Now that I think about it, I suppose we don't need many cannons for this at all. We could probably... Uh, it, it's not like 100% guaranteed all the time, but it's probably a really strong bet that we could just always use stone for the cannons. And then we wouldn't need half of this fancy stuff. We don't need smart... Uh, we don't need crafting combinators. We could literally just do a half belt of each resource. Stone and... Um, uh, stone and the... Cannon shells? What are they called? Delivery cannon capsule. Going to a job interview Monday, so I should probably sleep this weekend. Seems like a good idea. Wait, you did that already. Why did you remove it? Um, because it was actually getting too slow for this whole system. And also, uh, we probably have a way to make it way more efficient as well. So, what I'm thinking of doing here... I think we can get rid of all of these belts, actually. Like, literally all of them. We don't need a... Where does this go? What? Why is there a red wire going from the outputs for all of the... Oh. I don't remember where this goes. Oh, that's right. It was something like, if we're, if we've got more than two types of resource that we need to destroy to keep the pulverizers moving, we can stop bother, we can stop bothering with making uh, core mining happen. I think we can probably get rid of that. So we're not going to need any balanced unloaders except for stone. Um, get rid of all this stuff. And I strongly doubt we're going to need two belts of stone, but we'll see. May as well leave it in place for the moment. Mm, that looks a bit too snug, doesn't it? T-Hex outsmarted himself. Yeah, I mean, it's not uncommon at all to realize you can improve on a design, right? Let's go. Balanced unloaders. Uh, is this... Okay, I keep needing this, so... Wait, what? Oh, I see. So is this to the right? Yeah. I was going to make a different blueprint, but actually this is all we need here. Let's 
So all that does is read hand contents, read belt contents, and everything has to be equal to zero for the inserters will do their thing. Don't need these ones. We can probably fit these up a bit more snug, we'll see. Could you load the stuff into chests and blow it up with the delivery cannon? Like, double destruction chests and capsules. Yes, that's what we're doing. And something I'm realizing is we probably don't need that many cannons. Um, because we can destroy way more resources. It'll also be more efficient for... We don't need to produce as many uh, delivery cannon capsules. Um... That's going to come out this way. That's close enough, I guess. Let's just do it like this for now. Except... Put delivery, cap uh, delivery cannon capsules on one half of the belt. And stone on the other. Whoops. Where is the cannon? There it is. I should probably... Okay, we don't need any of this belt. Let's get rid of it. And we'll have the stone come out this way, actually. So the main reason I'm using requester chests, even though they're a bit more expensive uh, than, say, like iron chests or something, is, frankly, we've already got it automated and in the rail system, and also I would have to replace belts as well if we're going to belt items into the chests. It would also mean we'd need inserters and it would be less uh, dense. It might actually end up being more resource efficient, um, if that makes sense, to uh, to use these chests to destroy items. Okay, so stone, maybe I should put coal up here and stone can come right down this way. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Let's, uh... Let's swap the stone and coal around. Since this is the only resource that goes on a belt. What? Why is it blue? That should not be blue. I kind of wish it did have a black version for the light. Like somehow make it look darker than what it would normally look like. Not that that would make sense. So stone is going to be a yellow. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. What do we got here? Train is bringing stone. Okay, that's fine, actually. The way I've set this up should work. Okay, so we need to move all of this stone. Like so. It's just swapping all of the logistic requests. Uh, we also need some logistic bots. This may actually be all it takes for the train stop here. I don't know what else I might be forgetting. But we'll set this up now. And read the contents of these chests. Oh, um... I would also like to read how many bots we've actually got here. But if it if that number goes too high, 
Okay, we're going to have to have a decider combinator here. We're just going to say each less than zero, output each. And that way we're not going to give LTN the impression that there's anything to be picked up here, even if um, we end up with lots of bots. Um, from We're already using the... Well... I think we could just change this around to read logistic network contents and read robot statistics. Oh, we don't need to read the contents at all. Robot statistics. Uh, we'll, we'll go for total instead of available bots. A bonk. A hail and shadow. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, those are construction bots. The black light would be super nice here. I was just thinking that yesterday. Hoarder in me ask why you want to destroy items. Uh, Blast Egg, uh, the answer to that question is so that we can get more items. Um, so when you have... Well, okay, when you do core mining, uh, it doesn't spit out finished products. Um, it just spits out these core fragments. You take the core fragments and jam them into a pulverizer, and the pulverizer spits out a small chance of uranium, six iron, five copper, five coal, and five stone, two vulcanite, etc, etc. Um, because we use... because we're producing way more stone than we're using, and the same applies to copper to a lesser degree. We have to filter these outputs somewhere, somehow. Um, even if we weren't doing some fancy shared storage over here, if you had, like, uh, filter inserters taking the resources out and going to different belts and going to completely different storage systems, the same principle still is going to apply, where you have to have enough storage for every resource otherwise it is eventually going to stop everything and the only way to completely automate this to keep producing uh, whatever resource we need is to make sure that it's going to get rid of excess items eventually Aurora so good to see you again welcome welcome hope you're doing well could you load up the stuff in a chest and blow it up? Oh yeah, I answered that. Finally, big brain like t hacks. We got there eventually. Just did a test and ran science in my base, and it does 240 SPM with tier 3 modules. Nice. Upgrading from tier 3 to 9. We'll quadruple. Very cool. Uh, hello, it's me again. Yes, indeed. Also, after Iron Wolf raided yesterday, I decided to watch him. Iron Wolf's cool. Definitely. Uh, so yeah, that's why we're doing this. Don't need belts over here. Oh, here comes more stone. Also... I can get the construction bots to remove this stuff, uh, to move the stone over by marking these for deconstruction. Except they're putting it in my inventory. Or maybe it's just my bots that are doing that. That looks kind of cool. <laughs> it's like a weird waterfall display of, uh, of bots. I like Iron Wolf too, but I'm more of a cat guy. I will not read too much into that. Okay, we're gonna need a right side... Uh, balanced unloader. One of the nice things about this design is... It doesn't matter if there's like different types of chests there. When we paste the blueprint. Been saving up more points, I see. Alright, so. 
So this is just going to go straight onto this belt here. There was no subtext? <laughs> okay. Sure there wasn't. This cannon is bigger than I realize sometimes. That should be more than enough. But we could always add more. I want to make just this row and see how quickly it destroys items. So this is going to be Delivery Cannon Capsule Stone. And we're still going to do our trick with um, uh, making these all fire at the same time. I don't like this not being an even number. But to do that, we'll need to use filter inserters. I'll need some substations. That doesn't quite reach. I'm not pleased. We can make this nice and symmetrical, though. Uh, like this. Oh, we're already doing this. That makes sense. How many logistic bots do we have here? Oh, it's because we're doing the deconstruction. Okay, cool. Uh, did I not activate this yet? Okay. So we're getting total... Uh, total logistic bots and total construction bots. And we're going to pass that to here. I don't think it's going to matter if... Yes, it is. These are going to have to be different colored wires. So there isn't crosstalk. Um, so that's going to go up there. And contents of chest plus what we're requesting goes over here. Um, so now, instead of requesting one stack, we're going to just put a number for the total bots that we want in the whole network. We can fit 350 per roboport. Um, 700, 1400. Okay, we can fit way more bots than we need. Um, although, depending on how many of these chests, the... Uh, the cannon manages to destroy. It might create too many bot jobs all at once. Why don't we just set this to 500? Um, I don't want to put too many bots flying through. Oh, 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 I forgot. I remembered something. Or I realized something. We should get um, repair packs. Because I foresee logistic bots falling out of the sky here. Because we're going to have a lot of them in flight. Alright, let's just say 500 of each type of bot. And... I don't think I want to bother with a request stack threshold. Or rather, maybe I'll set it rather low. We, we could just say one stack. Yeah, make it one st Well, if we're going to request only one stack, we'll set this to two stacks. Okay. Request stack threshold. Uh, one. And we should probably make this a high priority. Let's say 50. Um, that is a negative. Yep, that's good. Okay, so I think this is ready to be connected. Oh, and this goes here as well. So it'll never output a positive number, 
so LTN won't think that we can pick up items here. Um, our stack threshold is just one. We're asking for request chests, logistic robots, uh, bots, chests, bots, bots, and some repair packs. I don't see a train schedule getting started though. We do have some trains. Why is this not powered? Um, this is powered. This is not. Okay. I guess we somehow removed a power pole that we shouldn't have. It's in the logistic network. That should get itself sorted out. Also got the points for having a watch streak. Never even heard the bonk. Well, you have now. Lol, lol there was no subtext. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, as soon as this train gets here, let's, let's try and be ready to buy this thing by the time the train arrives, if we can. That is never going to look neat. So, we're going to need a timer. Which means... Where are my filters for circuits? I think they normally go down here. Let's just do this. And decider. If T is less than... We'll start at one minute. Output T input count, and then T goes to here, goes to here. Fire the laser. Anyone remember that movie? Not necessarily. Oh, I should... I should move all of this stuff over one tile, and then... Actually, no. Whoops. This looks way too snug. Let's move this stuff over. And if we end up adding another row of these, we could just have the other belt come down here. Where are my substations? Uh, I didn't have my bots turned on, that's why. Okay. So what we're going to have here is constant combinator outputting stone. Well, I could actually... Oh no, we need to output a specific... No, no, stone is fine. Okay, I think I have an idea, a way to save a combinator. Let's go here. And we'll set all of these to set filters. Uh, stack size 1 is probably fine. I didn't think of that. If we're going to do it this way with the one filter inserter, it's going to have to take 51 swings to be ready to fire this thing. It might end up having to change it. What if we're trying to input 100 stone and we don't put the capsule in at the same time. Only one way to find out. Okay, so this is read belt contents hold. And then over here we have a uh, constant combinator going to our... Well, using our timer. And this is going to be... Uh, cannon shell, cannon capsule. If T is less than 5, output... Oh, I could have just not had the constant combinator. Whoops. Uh, output 1 cannon capsule. And 
go here. None of these have a destination yet. Let's fix that. Does it actually... Does it actually do pinpoint accuracy? Doesn't look like it's centered on that tile. Alright. Let's, uh... Sounds like that's working. Why don't we turn all of these on? And... It actually only def destroyed a few chests. Although, when they all fire, especially if we use more cannons, it's going to destroy more chests. But maybe we don't need to use so many. What if we just... What if we, what if we have this many chests and maybe we'll double the number of delivery cannons? Uh, so pretty soon... Oh, it's already caught up. Alright, so we should see all of these fire soon. Why didn't these ones... One, two, three, four, five. Why? Wait, did we just... I think I know why this is happening. Even though these have exactly the same settings... Um, because we're only outputting this uh, delivery cannon capsule into the filter inserters for five ticks, the side that has the delivery cannon capsules closer is managing to pick them up, even though both sides are trying. Um, if this doesn't destroy these chests in one volley, we're either going to have to double them, or... Not have as many chests. I mean, four chests is more than a train load. That's actually plenty. But on the other hand, I didn't, I wasn't paying attention, I didn't get to see it. Oh, it was very close. To destroying all of these. Um, why don't we make this like less than 10? I don't think that's gonna result in doubling up on cannon capsules. The other half to do the other four? Too bad you can't auto fire nukes. <laughs> oh my god. Multiple banks of chests and set half to target one chest? Uh... No, I'm pretty happy with this, I think. Although, I, would, I think I would like to double it. Yeah. That's gonna look pretty good, I think. Bring this over here. Wait, what? Oh. Looks like that's working. Uh, we're not going to need a fast belt for this, but if we... I should tidy this up over this end. Well, there's no room. How about here? Whoops. I, my inventory is so full right now. All right. Stone, be gone, please. And... Why... Why is my inventory still full of stone? Wait, is this all full? Oh, it is too. There's a train here I didn't even see. Uh, we do still need... Theoretically, we do still need coal destruction. Oh 
I'll take that. Okay. And then we split. Uh, how do we split? That technically works, but I don't like it. Um... This should be fine, actually. That could look better, I guess, but... It's probably fine. I need two more delivery cannons. One, two. May as well let the bots clear out my inventory. Bot snake go burr. Thank you. Should probably put these cannon shells back. Oops. Overshot it. Um, I don't really have a good spot to output these. Here we go. Whoa, careful. Well, that seems to be working very well. A few more of these. Yay, indeed. I actually needed four of these. Whoops. Yay. Nope. Who said no? Hey, Verza. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. I still haven't seen LTN deliver anything over here. Also... Oh, that's the entire logistic system storage. Okay. I suppose we could send everything that's in the logistics system to this thing. If we somehow ended up with items that we want in some other chests somewhere. But that actually means we don't need this green wire here at all. Since we're reading the logistic network contents, anything that goes in here is going to be received over here. How's it going? Not too bad. Okay. Uh, why has LTN not sent anything here, though? We're currently requesting bots, bots, repair packs, chests... And I think that's it. Um, because we're somehow still having problems with this. Alright, let's have another look. As I leave all of my bots behind. I thought, it, I thought we fixed this. So you are wanting 50 burner inserters. And there are burner inserters here. Why are we not... We are requesting a burner inserter. There's two on the way. So this is working. It just gets slow sometimes. Here it comes. 
what the filter inside it didn't pick it up. Uh, that's disappointing. Hmm. I need giant chests. There's so many problems that get solved with giant chests. Is there just no room for burner inserters here? How did that happen? Am I requesting too much of something? We're only doing... So we read the contents of the chests, multiply by negative one, compared to what we're putting into our requesters. Does this, is this necessary? Each greater than zero output each? I'm pretty sure negative amounts just don't appear on requester chests. So this could probably just be green wire going directly down here. But... Yeah, I think this actually works just fine. The only problem is it ends up over full. Especially with things like this one flamethrower turret taking up an entire stack. It'd be nice if you could have, like, provider chests that you could set to ask bots to take items away if they've been there too long or something. Hmm. Maybe it would be better if we just had one chest here. Let's see. One, one, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. Plus 20. 34 stacks. This... There... There shouldn't be a universe where... Even if, all, even if all of this was going into one chest, there shouldn't be a world where this gets over full. I don't understand. Hmm... There might be a train headed down here now. Not just yet. What are we outputting? Oh, I am a fool. Well, we had to fix that problem anyway. But there is one minor detail that I messed up here. Uh, all of the positive signals here are not going to get sent to our LTN train stop. because this thing explicitly filters them out. That should do it. I said that should do it. Actually, come to think of it, if these signals were missing, it should have just been a default setting. So I don't see why... LTN wouldn't have sent a train here. Is it because of signaling? No, I think LTN would have created the request even if the signals were bad. But maybe I'm wrong. Let's place this and see what happens. Yeah, we've seen LTN create requests for stations that were not yet reachable. So, what's the problem now? Output signals, negative 100 bots, negative 500 bots, negative 500 chests. Um... This is actually seems to be working really well. 
Although not all of the chests are getting destroyed. Maybe I should spread the shots out a bit. Like send half of them, uh, send a quarter of them to each corner of the middle. Like that. Press N to exit satellite mode. And then this one can be top right. Uh oh, better hurry. Wow. And this one bottom right. And this row bottom left. Combinator on? Uh, that's a good question. I think it was, because I copied this one. Yeah, the Combinator is on. Do we have... How many bots do we have up here? 262 and 134. So... We've definitely... We've definitely got the bots available. There's also plenty of repair packs and blue chests. Um, I don't understand. <coughs> Yay, indeed. What is going on here? Let me just get rid of this clutter in the logistic network. What? Oh, I see. So trash train's going to pick that up. That works. But... Okay, so... Output signals. Negative 100 bots. Negative 200 repair packs. Negative 500 blue chests. Request stack threshold is 1. Maybe I should just remove that. What if I set request threshold to 1? If that makes a difference, I'm going to be surprised, actually. That wasn't the problem. We do have... Oh, those are fluid wagons. Wait, is it just because all of the um, small trains are in motion at the moment? It seems an odd... Oh, here we go. How long will you wait? You're delivering to a wall. Okay. Did I make the walls too high priority to make this one work? Priority 100, and this one's priority 50. Alright. If this creates a request, we know that was the problem. Doesn't seem... Oh, here we go. Yep, it was just priority. I forgot I had the walls as priority 100. Now what are you waiting for? More blue chests? I think in this case it might be better just to allow the inserters to overstack and have this one remove excess items. Because look at how long we're having to wait so that we get the desired resource uh, in this chest in particular. That is kind of a roundabout path to have to take. Um, looks like these chests are getting destroyed. That's kind of good. Alright, we need a... Ok, 
kaboom. I think this just goes here. I could be wrong. I seem to be wrong. I think we got rid of a division combinator here. Uh, we need to divide the ticks by 60 to get the number of seconds. There we go. And I think you could just put a constant combinator here, adding a few seconds to make sure the zero lines up with when these things actually fire. But I seem to remember thinking that I could do that before and it was actually harder than that. So these fire about six seconds after after where this timer is. So is it positive six? Let's just check how that works. 30 becomes 36. Is it really as simple as that? I feel like I would have figured it out if that was the case. Um, I also need to copy all of these requests. And we need some actual logistic bots here. The train is on the way. Uh-oh. That was close. Chests replaced. Construction bots have picked up loose items. Is our train stuck? Nope, oh, here it comes. Finally. With 282 logistic bots. We could probably get away with doing this every 30 seconds pretty easily. Um, that's way too many filters. Okay, we'll have to change this. Uh, red wire goes up here. Well, actually it could be red or green, it's fine. Uh, inserters go here. Green wire, set filters, actually no, that doesn't help. Um, we want the same thing for this as total logistic bots, total construction bots. I think I know how to do this one. We'll put this back the way it was, and we'll get the negative signal from this in, uh, combinator. We'll set filters blacklist. That's not... Well, as long as there's only three resources, that would work. Why don't I just do this like a normal person? Um, yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. Enable, disable. Uh, logistic bot less than zero. Construction bot less than zero. I think we might end up losing a couple of bots here. Well, there's 27 seconds left.
Yeah, until we end up... If we have too many chests, we're probably going to lose a logistic bot or two when these things fire. Um, in... Oh no. Rip bots. Oh, we didn't lose any. Well then. I was going to set this up so that we check that available bots equals um, total bots before this thing fires instead of on a timer. But it turns out you can't kill bots that are flying with the cannons. Which means I'm not sure if there was ever any need for the timer stuff. Maybe we just got lucky. Good night, T-Hacks. Enjoyed as always. Take care, Rorso. Thanks for dropping by. I don't think that was luck. I don't think we can shoot down the bots with these cannons. Which, uh, happens to work out for us pretty well. One downside of having to do this is, um... Well, not having to, but it's a more efficient way of doing it. Uh, is we're always, always going to have alerts that say entities are being destroyed. Not much to do about that, I guess. We're definitely going to need more robo-ports up here. We're already getting halos from the bots. So why don't we just... fit as many of these here as we can. That's kind of cool, honestly. And maybe we should ask for a lot more logistic bots. Hmm. Because this is really going to take a lot. Wait, why have we got iron here? If I don't see iron... F oh, no. What? Negative 55k. Request priority negative 10,000. So, why did our train just bring 8,000 iron to be destroyed? if there are stations that have a higher priority than negative 10,000 asking for iron. That seems bad. I don't know if we can't use LTN's priority system I don't know what we can do about this. Why on earth would it bring iron here? And why is it only in two of the cargo wagons? I think I know what happened. Oh. Uh... No? That's not why. Negative 10,000 request priority. And these, this one's definitely requesting. Negative 55k iron, request priority 10. 
I don't understand. It's really putting a damper on how well the resource destruction system is working. That we're destroying iron for no reason. We also have no iron in storage here. This one is priority negative 100. This one's priority... Maybe it just doesn't go down to negative 10,000 and it ignored it. Let's try negative 1,000. There should be... Well, there's definitely stone everywhere. Maybe we shouldn't do quite so many chests. What is our cargo robots? How do I have 111 of... Oh, I can craft these. Um, cargo robot size is 2 at the moment. I think we can get 3. We cannot get 3. So it would take 1200 bots to fill a single chest in one trip. Hmm. We're really kind of wasting chests if we're doing it this slow. I, you know what? Let's get rid of the timer. Um, I think we will do it by bot inactivity. But we could still use this um, display. Well, we might need to add a digit or two to it, actually. Well, on the other hand, I think it's very easy to see when there are bots active. So let's just get rid of this for now. Um, we're not going to need this either. And we're going to say... We're going to read this RoboPort right here. Maybe I should add some more RoboPorts in the middle. It might be a good idea. Following the same pattern. Just for the aesthetics of it. I don't have any. Let's go pick some RoboPorts up. But what we're going to do is just read uh, available bots versus total bots and when they're equal then we'll fire the cannons. And we might have to add some circuitry to send a pulse so that we don't load up the cannons twice or something. Okay. I don't know what kind of combinators we're going to be connecting this to. Um, read robot statistics. And I think we'll... Oh, we're lacking some power. Wait, what? How is electricity fine here? And Oh, this one is still charging. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think we go... X minus Y and Z minus T. X minus Y... Output construction bot or yeah, no logistic bot and Z minus T 
If you're wondering about these signals, it's just the default letters from reading the robot statistics. X minus Y, Z minus T, and then from here we say if everything equals zero, Uh, if everything equals zero output capsule, whoops, except if I link this directly to the filter inserters, I think what's going to happen is once the bots are all inactive, um, we're going to fill these things with as many can capsules as we can. If we make a pulse generator, it'll send this for one tick, and that's not going to be enough to make the inserters pick something up. So we need not a pulse generator, but a send something for like four or five ticks generator. This is your basic pulse generator right here. It goes each greater than zero output each, and it has a arithmetic combinator connected to it that does each times negative one. Oh wait, I think I know how to do this. It's actually really easy. All we have to do is add a few combinators to delay the signal. So signals reach these two at the same time, then this goes here, goes to here, goes to here, and goes to here. And we should get an output from this one for... So these are times one, times one, times one, and times negative one. As long as you have an odd number of times negative one, it should work just fine. So we put in a signal on this end. And then... Well, let's just connect this like so. Steel. Once we connect this, uh, signal goes through here. One tick later, it gets output, and then goes boop 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 boop. Once it gets to here, one tick later, gets cancelled out. We'll see these lights all flicker on the combinators. Whoa, that was faster than I realized it would be. But yeah, that should do the job. Sorry, I'm new, but what are your bots doing with all those materials? Um, we are destroying them. Um, because core mining in space exploration, or rather, not so much core mining, but how we deal with the core fragments, um, it actually creates a set ratio of various outputs, and unless we happen to consume all of these resources at exactly the ratio that they're being created, we'll eventually run out of space and it's going to block everything. So stone in particular, closely followed by copper at the moment, we need to destroy the excess. Um, and to do that, we're shooting cannons at chests full of items. I moved my module making build, it had about 30k modules buffered, nice. Alright, so this goes here. We still don't have room. This goes here, actually. Just gotta make sure, yeah, either, either way that output will work. Um, 
I could probably remove one combinator here and just say... Well, no. It'll be each greater than zero output. Yeah, never mind. All right. So we read the logistic network. If y minus, uh, if x minus y is zero and z minus t is zero, in other words, if available logistic bots equals total logistic bots, and same thing for the construction bots, then we're outputting one delivery cannon capsule. You can see right here that's working right now. Once we connect this up, we should get, I think, four or five ticks of this thing getting sent to the inserters. I think that was... We need exactly one more combinator over here. Just like before, when we needed to change the duration of that by one tick. Uh, we need to do the same thing over here. So we can actually just do that like so. That should do it, although it's a little bit messy. I have a challenge. Tier 9 is pretty sp spenny. Only worth it for the six disco ball slots. I used tier 8 on my playthrough though, on Nalvis for productivity. Uh, by spenny do you mean expensive or...? So yeah, once all of the bots stop... Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. Um, maybe we should make room for some... Well, maybe we should just balance unload directly from the trains. No, the bots will... Huh. We're going to end up with trains stuck here most of the time. We definitely need more bots. Let's go for a thousand logistic bots. You're only bringing us chests. Spenny is expensive. Sorry, slang. I like to learn slang. I wonder if we've already got... No, I'm not seeing too many bots charging. We could definitely manage to have more bots here. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Bots have neology bias? Neology. Okay. Um, I don't think we need... Yes, we do. That was derpy. I wonder... If if we couldn't do a lot better by belting the resources down to a bunch of chests over here, and then the bots would have way less distance to cover. So then we're back to using belts again, right after we removed all of them. Still, I think it's worth it. Um, we could put the chests somewhere like here as well. Alright, what if we just put the chests here? Um, about 16 of them. This is 9, 10. That would be enough for a full, more than a full train load of each resource. Actually, wait, how many chests is this? Twelve. So let's do that. Twelve 
12 chests. And we don't actually have to... We don't actually have to care which resource... Like, we can just do a common belt here and that'll be fine. Is it okay to limit it to 45 items per second? We want to fill 12 times 2400. Uh, it's nearly 30,000. That's going to take 640 seconds, which is more than 10 minutes to fill. So no, um, I guess we'll add some some more chests. If we do it like this... Well, how many stack inserters does it take to fill 12 chests anyway? You could do two-step buffer and requester. Yeah, but I think I like the idea of... We could keep these as buffers so that we're utilizing both the belts and the bots at the same time. That might help. We definitely don't need... We need more belt throughput, not like more rows of chests. Hmm... So, in that case, like so. And that includes stone. We don't really need... We don't really need a lane balancer here. Because the balanced unloaders effectively do the lane balancing for us. Kind of. Um, it does lose some throughput if you do it like that, but there's obviously way more throughput than we need um, over here. So we can just do splitters going like this. Uh, that's kind of weird. That should be fine, actually. Okay. I should really make this a blueprint. Oops. No, I think there was a reason that I don't have the belts that we're reading be the closest ones possible to these inserters. So I'll just have to copy it on a side-by-side -side basis. Okay. So we're just going to have a couple of belts coming down this way, and everything can merge into them. Hell, maybe we'll double it. That might be a good idea. We'll see. Alright then. So, removing some of these robo-ports for the moment. Putting unloaders back in place. I should put these here, because I keep pointing my mouse there. Uh, so that is going to be right side. And left side. No, wait. What am I doing?
Yeah, no, they're both... Oh, that one was left side. Okay. So this goes here. Not going to need lane balances, I don't think. Or maybe I can fit them somewhere else. And one for coal. Uh, that'll be easy to fix. Did they just destroy? What did they just destroy? Um, production kills. Uh oh. Where did we lose construction bots? Wait, when did we lose? I wish I could see where that happened, um, but I don't think it was here. 3.5 minutes ago. And logistic. Did that really happen? Did we manage to kill bots by firing cannons? Hey, the Westoon. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You could do two-step buffer and request uh, Logics is next level. Thank you. If you put thought into 100% run, it'd be something else. 100% run? What, like a uh, speed run? Um. Wait. When did we fire the cannons? We should already be on the system that Oh, don't tell me I added too many ticks to this and we ended up firing the cannons an extra time. The cannons blew up all the bullseye? Yes, indeed. Um, I'm kind of confused. Alright. First of all, let's merge stone in here. I think a bot just blew up. And then this goes down here. Oops. I guess we merge these. We could do that right here. That's way more than enough stack inserters. We're definitely bottlenecking on the belts themselves. 90 per second, and we want to load uh, 12 times 2400. Divided by 90 is a little bit a little bit over five minutes, but is that okay? Like, to destroy this many chests full of resources, plus a little bit more stone? Firing these, like, about once every five minutes? I think that'd probably be fine, actually. And if we really want to, we could double the belts. Maybe we'll do that. Um, I mean, the whole point of redesigning this thing was to increase the throughput of resource destruction, right? Okay, then. Main bus of utter devastation. Should I try and fit a belt balancer in here? I don't see how that's going to work.
I mean, these two could be balanced. We've got way more than enough inserters to consume everything. I think. Yeah, we do. So we don't need to lane balance. So these two could go here. And we need to somehow merge the iron in. If it if we ever get iron, that is. Maybe we don't even have to worry about that, because when, when in the long run, no matter what, we're never going to need to destroy iron faster than other resources. So we could just have the iron um, merge in, like, more slowly. But I think I figured out where we can do that anyway. Oh no, that's not quite going to work. Uh, we could do it. No, you're not there. Seems pretty crazy how vanilla SE has this problem, but SE K2 doesn't. What resource are you not getting due to too much core mining production? Uh, mostly iron, because we produce way too much stone and too much copper. So we end up with, for example, 32,000 copper and not enough iron for a train pickup in these chests. Um, obviously it's still working at the moment, but it must be getting pretty close to full. Actually, I'm not entirely sure, because that's two sets of chests, but you get the idea. Um, eventually you end up with just a ton, of, uh, a ton of copper in here, which there's no demand for, and none of the resources are getting produced because everything's jammed. Um, I guess we can put the RoboPort back up here. There isn't really good spots for the RoboPorts now. Endural, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's okay. Wait, what? Oh, no. Nope, 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 nope. We're not doing... These are passive providers now. That was way too many bot jobs that were accomplishing literally nothing. I need to go back and get some more passive provider chests. Like, a lot of them, actually. Significantly more than... Well, probably just two stacks. Here's our collection of chests. I have a problem with my one blue belt of vulcanite blocks design. I'll need at least 1.1 blue belts. Oh no. Did you run out of space? Second most used item in SE was copper. Yeah, I think we're just not that late game yet. But more to the point, we're setting up a system that will get rid of any excess resource. Well, technically we haven't set we haven't set it up to get rid of uranium, but somehow I don't think that's going to be a problem. I found making Prod 3 and Speed 3 modules consumed a lot of copper, shipping them into orbit to upgrade to 8, etc. Why are you using the Vulcanite enforced copper plate smelting? Uh, yes. Maybe change it to use more copper. Yeah, I did think about that. Um, currently... Actually, I might have already done that. I think there was a little patch that we added here. Yeah, here it is. Uh, this constant combinator right here is basically saying do not uh, do not use the vulcanite recipe for copper. 
but that was just a patch for our old Omni Smelters. Um, we could pretty easily patch the new ones the same way. But what I'm more interested in when we get the chance is uh, the new Omni Smelters are actually very well designed so that we could set up a central uh, central smelter control, basically. Wait, why is there no stone over here? Oh, is that it? That's copper. Why is it... Oh, it's a small train. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, you go home, please. More to the point. Um... I'm really not pleased with LTN. Like I'm, I'm setting, I'm, I'm setting all of these to the lowest priority out of anything, out of any LTN station that I've made. And I thought it, I thought the low priority thing was working before, but we actually got iron ore delivered here while there were omni smelters with no iron. Um, I really hope I'm not going to have to create like a vanilla system just to uh, get rid of... not get rid of, sorry. Create a vanilla system to enable, disable these train stops based on if like how am I even going to detect without adding like a million combinators all over the map? How am I going to check if like every other iron or drop off is uh, satisfied? I have no idea. So I'm hoping that I just set the request priority too low and LTN won't work with that number or something earlier. AAI signals? Oh no. Oh no. So instead of adding like a decider combinator or something and sending a signal onto this circuit wire that crosses the entire train system, we're just gonna... we're just gonna throw down a giant a uh, signal transmitter at every single rail block. Consuming 20 megawatts of power. Have all LTN stations a priority? It's not enough if you don't set the one with the lowest priority. Um, yeah, there's some of them with a default of zero. Um, the high priority ones I've made are 100, or in this case 101. I'm pretty sure this is the only one I've set that has a negative priority. And I thought I ran an experiment and confirmed that negative priority does actually do something. But... Maybe... it doesn't. Or maybe... having train limits of one is also causing a little bit of a problem because, well, no, we could definitely drop off more stone over here. It's not like the trains don't have places to go. Oh, this one's not requesting stone. Okay. But there's lots of stations that are requesting iron. And somehow we ended up with an iron ore delivery over here. Considering it was just the one, I wonder if it was one of those issues where... Um, a train gets to its temporary stop and then comes to the wrong station somehow? I suppose that's possible. Well, whatever the case. Where can I squeeze in merging in iron? 
Oh, this is totally wrong. That works pretty well, actually. Also, we don't need the splitter anymore. Did I run out of dead too? Should have picked up another stack of passive providers. Yeah, I have to think that somehow an iron ore train that was supposed to go somewhere else ended up here. Beam it? Have all tail stations a priority? It's not enough if you only set the one with the lowest priority. Yeah, that'd be the case if they were all positive. Um, I've actually set the priorities negative for these ones. We can double check the documentation. Uh, manual. Priority. Higher priority will be served first, default equals zero. So it doesn't say negatives don't work. Um, and I'm pretty sure I ran an experiment. Oh. There we go. Wow, we're actually... I guess I shouldn't be surprised we're using all of this belt. Oh, and I didn't see if this worked. It should work. I don't know how else we would be deciding when to fire here. Although we might be doubling up on... No, this looks fine, actually. Look at the weird pattern the bots are making with picking up those that stone. That is a lot of butt charging going on. I could make a, uh, I, I could make a digital display showing how many bots are in flight over here, just for fun. Although it would need a few digits, um, four digits to be precise. Time for more ports? Maybe. Or maybe we shouldn't have provider chests up here. It's just going to imbalance the, um, the belt output. Maybe it's fine to just be able to delete 90 items per second for each type of resource. Yeah, like, these are all imbalanced now. It probably would work. Actually, let's, um, let's run this experiment right now. I want to see how well this works if I make the closest bit of belt, uh, the one that they read. Whoops. 
That seems fine. Yeah, that seems better, actually. It's going to increase the throughput, and I can easily copy-paste this in places. I guess we'll do that in future. Which means I'm going to update these blueprints right here. Uh, left 90 per second combinatorless. Right. And... These ones as well, perhaps? Can't really be bothered right this uh, instant. So this goes here, read belt contents hold, copy paste, and copy paste this down here. Select new contents. Maybe I should remove this part because I keep finding myself wanting to get rid of it when I'm placing this blueprint. It's fine. Right. And there we go. I didn't want you to take that stuff away from me, though. Thank you for bringing that back to me. Okay. So the items aren't much reaching the end of the belt, which is fine and good. Oh, that's weird. Why do they... Why do we get just a few items reaching the middle on this side, but not this side? This is going into a four balance. Oh, this... this is why. I see. So it's not a design flaw. Now we should see items reaching the inserters in the middle on both sides. Yep, there we go. That's actually, like, the perfect amount. At least, it is until we get some stack size upgrades beyond 8. I don't suppose there's a way to re uh, to read how many bot jobs remain from the circuit network. Well, that means we can get rid of these roboports up here. And we can be a bit more consistent with the placement of these substations. I don't like the way that doesn't. There it is. Much better. Wait. We actually do need a splitter for this. Put it over here. Hey, it's working! As soon as the bots stop... Oh, I forgot to check if... Oh, we ran out of stone. Is this real? Did we actually use up all the... Oh, 
Okay. Um, how are you missing stone? Oh, because we are running out. Yeah, okay, cool. And here comes extra stone. I just want to check that we've got the right amount of pulse coming out of this thing. That we're putting exactly one delivery caps uh, cannon capsule in each machine. Oh, I missed it. Wait, why is... Rip bots. Did we actually put two delivery cannon capsules in some of these? I think that's probably what happened. I guess we should... Well, it looks like we don't need to, but I was going to say we should priority output to these two belts. But because 50% of one belt is 50% of one belt, it's completely unnecessary. taking a minute. Uh, so this is 24 chests and this is 12. If this was completely full and we're only de uh, destroying one resource, it would only take two volleys of cannon shells to destroy all this stuff. Now that the unthinkable has happened and we've actually reached the point where we've destroyed all of these resources, um, I guess we need to add some circuitry to say if stone uh, if iron, copper, stone and coal in the logistic network is equal to zero then do not destroy resources. That is loud. Okay, so we're going to need a multiplied by negative one. We're going to need an, a decider combinator. Actually, we're going to need four of them. Um, no, I know what to do. We could do this with two combinators. We'll use the same trick that we used with the new Omni Smelter. So... This is also going to connect to the logistic network. Uh, read logistic network contents, good. And over here we have iron... Oh, wait. It's going to read other things as well. I think we will need multiple combinators just to separate out the stuff that we don't want. Unless we were to put a huge negative signal for every other thing uh, in the logistic network. Considering that we've got randomly some wood in here, I don't think that's necessarily going to work out that well. So, rather than having iron, copper, stone, coal equals one, and then this one is everything has to be equal to one, in order to output something. Well, that's still how it's going to work, but we need uh, four decider combinators right here. Um, so if iron equals zero, output one iron. Yeah, that's right. Copper. Looks to me there's not enough roboports for loading. 
Wait, with the new design? Where we're only going this far? Or with the old design? Stone. Coal. And then... Uh, everything has to be equal to one. If everything is equal to one, output delivery can encapsulate times negative one. And that'll have the same output as this one. Oh, that should be uh, arithmetic. Whoops. Times negative one. Uh oh. Wait, how did that happen? What the? Oh. Did I disconnect this or something? What? Why are we? Randomly firing cannon shells. Hey, Ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so we only send the positive signal for this when all of the bots are inactive. And we send... Did I accidentally send this signal through to here? It's possible, I guess. No, I think we would have picked up more. How did you get in here? Okay, I think that may actually be what happened. Nope. Oh, dear. Well, it's wasting stone anyway. So, because there's zero of... Oh, I need to connect this up. Not that it mattered just yet. Because there's zero of all of these resources, we're outputting one each into here. Because everything equals one. That doesn't work. If we had a little bit of iron, iron would output zero. Copper, stone, and coal would output one. And this would be true, and we'd never shoot a cannon shell. Legion PH2, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, so this is wrong. Um, how do we say... I think we just... I think I'm overthinking this a bit, and we just say um, iron times one, output iron, copper, uh, stone, and coal. And then if everything equals zero, um, don't shoot. Oops. Oops. Let's just check those are connected properly. Yeah, this is what I should have done before. So... Why is this doing a negative? Times one. Times one times one. How are we receiving a negative signal for how much copper is in the logistic network sometimes. It doesn't count what's in the requester chest as being in... No, it doesn't. Lady in the middle tried to take my overhead bin over my seat. That's rude. Oh no. All right. It's going to take a minute before... Well, the UPS is dying. Let's fix it a little bit. There we go. 
turn this off as well. It can actually make a pretty big difference sometimes. Okay, it's not that severe yet. But if we look at the entire map and turn off electric network... Well, it's like three UPS, it looks like. Two or three. Right. Oh, I wonder if... I wonder if it's possible that sometimes by sheer fluke, because of different numbers of bots in flight, X minus Y and Z minus T, the total of all of those things equals zero. No, it's everything equals zero, so if this is negative or and this is positive and they both add up to zero, that's not going to be everything equals zero. It has to be true for every single input. So it won't accept it if it's like plus five logistic bots and minus five construction bots. Oh no. Okay. Um, that is working so much better because the bots don't have to go far. So I think they're going to keep going until these chests are actually full. I guess we could use even more bots. Why don't we make it 2k? We should see a LTN request popping up sooner or later. Did you just... Wait, what? Did this just deliver four copper somehow? No, that's impossible. Alright. Bring to us the bots. All 141 of them. Fantastic. Oh, here we go. We actually had room to unload everything as well. Uh, why aren't we shooting? I think I know what happened here. So where... Uh, this is going to be hard. Okay. So we want this to, f to send a signal through and pulse it out for like five ticks when all of the bots are have stopped, but we also want to I, I guess I could connect a circuit wire up to all of these chests and read the contents that would do it, actually Uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. So it needs to be, basically, the logistic network has to be empty of all four resources, and all of these chests have to be empty of all four resources in order to say, don't fire the cannons anymore. However, um... The trouble is that the thing that makes this circuit difficult to design is if this thing is outputting the negative one delivery cannon capsule at the same time as this thing pulses,
maybe we could set it up with like a combination timer and checking all of the bots are inactive. So there's a timer that only advances when all of the bots are inactive. That would require significantly less combinators to achieve this part. So this is like our t equals 1. And then we would have... Um, and then shell less than... I don't know, 10 seconds, output cannon shell. And then all of these, well, if we're going to use the filter inserters, we would have to add another combinator that says something like cannon shell, whoops. What did I just... I just damaged all of these belts with ice. Okay. Sounded like a flamethrower. Sounded exactly like a flamethrower, actually. Also, did we just put random ice on the belt? Nope. Okay. If this thing is less than... Five. I'll put this thing. And then this goes here. And then don't do that actually. Connect here first. So every ten seconds we're going to try shooting but only when the bots have all settled down. Uh, I suppose there's a minuscule chance the bots stop when... when this thing stop... Uh, the timer could stop on like less than five and we would be constantly shooting. If that happens, we would put a bunch of stone down here to be picked up, which would get the bots moving, which would stop the timer. I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, but on top of that, we're saying if there's none of these resources in the logistic network and there's none of them in here, Whoops. Then don't fire the cannons. So this is no longer outputting its negative one. This is... has its little timer. And I guess this is working. We did have the problem where we only launched a few of these. Hey, I am Suck. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, I think this is it. I think we've got it all working now. Fantastic. Bots are in motion, so the timer is arrested. I think we're going to keep going forever, though, because... Well, no, we're going to keep going until there's not enough stone. Which is not that far off.
Yea, indeed. Did I just see those two insert, but these ones didn't? Oh, this is over-inserted delivery cannon capsules because there's not enough. There is enough stone, though. Oh, there's no stone here. That's why it's all stopped. Okay, then. I definitely made things a little bit harder than they needed to be by using these filter inserters. But yeah, we've actually deleted all of our excess items, except here comes another 8,000 stone. I think that's it. Meanwhile, we're still not getting any iron up here. Um, we should have full throughput from core mining now, though. So we're producing... Uh, 136 core fragments per second. We've definitely got enough, like more than enough. Uh, this will do 86. And we've got double that. 136.6 per second. I wish you could set a target for the multiple. Wow, well, it takes more than 100 of these. Uh, 120. 110, 115. Oh, that is almost exact. So we're making 67.7 .7 iron ore per second just from core mining, and it's no longer getting stopped by producing too much of other resources. That's wrong to delete items like this. If you don't know what to do with excess items, when you do so huge core mining, you should solve it right away. We just did solve it. Think of it as converting iron and... Uh, think of it as converting copper and stone into iron. Okay. It's also kind of cool, although I don't know why we just got those two random shots. Oh, I do know why we got those two random shots. That's not going to happen too often. Although, they seem to all be out of sync now. And why are we shooting while the... Why, why were we... What? Uh, are we done? Apparently not. Some of these still have multiple cannons in them. Uh, the circuit needs work, but it basically works. Basically. Don't know how they're getting so out of sync when they have a timer like this. Okay. It'll do. How much, um... Wait, did I leave some bots behind? No, it doesn't look like it. I wonder how many scaffold uh, blocks we've got here now. 50,000! Let's do this. Let's put on our life support. And give it some power. Is there anything else I should be taking into space with me? Maybe some red and blue circuits? Uh, that's 
gonna use up all my yay indeed snacks snacks I approve of the Kerbal reference uh, let's grab some red circuits as we go and jump in oh no I think I know what's gonna happen here I think I think this is gonna happen again uh, this is not going to coal and water which where can we go that's got enough room I didn't think of this 437 166 is this full no okay um, please make room. And meanwhile the bots are going to take all my precious stuff. Rip. They would have taken it while I was launching in the rocket, though. Um, maybe I should just... Request way more of these. All right. Meanwhile, on meanwhile at Nalvis low orbit, or oh, high orbit perhaps. Oh, that was a weird sound. Seems like there's plenty of storage space here. Alright, so we've got 26 more stacks we need to free up in this before we go. 21 to go. Sorry, could you show your text? Do you mean research? Um, we've pretty much just finished researching everything that we can get with um, uh, rocket science packs and nothing more advanced than that. Is that what you are asking about, or do you mean something else? What is this? Holmium cable. Sheathed cable specifically designed to eliminate unwanted noise in the line that can interfere with... that can interferes with sensitive electronics. I'm guessing it's just a... Really advanced, um, intermediate product. Well, fairly advanced intermediate product. Do we have bots bringing circuits? Yes, we do. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of butt jobs. Um, why don't I head over there and make it a bit easier for them? I'll let some of these catch up, though. Just accidentally stepped out of the robot network. Alright, this'll do, I guess. I should really have changed my requests before trying to carry all that stuff. I could go to the trouble of getting rid of belt that won't work upstairs, but I can't be bothered. Oh, I can't remember what I was trying to build down here. Oh, that's right, I was planning to build a depot, but I wasn't finding anything that I really liked in terms of how I could fit things together. 
Maybe we could... Hmm, I don't know. I mean, we know we can fit two trains like this and like this, so we should be able to fit a lot of trains here. We just have to figure out the input and output rail. I never actually powered this, but it's going to be a little while before that's working. That's fine. Rocket fuel. We apparently still don't have a train load. This is five train loads. And it's definitely getting sent to LTN. So why is rocket fuel uh, not delivered up here? Because we forgot to request it. Um, let's just do six train loads, 9,600. And it needs to be a negative, actually, otherwise LTN is going to think that there's 9,600 solid rocket fuel available for pickup at this location. All right, we've got our circuits. Apparently we don't have blue circuits. Did I not? Did I not change the requests for that? Here it is. Oh, I only changed the maximum. All right, let's just pick it up, I guess. And there's not room here. Hmm. I, I'm not going to get away with anything in my trash slots. Let's just go. There should be room at the destination by now. Oh, uh, something I want to take up with me is definitely a couple of more landing pads. So let's make room for that. I think they take up one slot each, no matter what. Yeah, they do. So let's get rid of our uh, not-so-useful belt that won't work in space. Turns out I can be bothered getting rid of that. And we'll pick up some cargo landing pads. Five is probably plenty. Let's make it... Oops. Oops. Let's make it six. And away we go. We don't want to go to coal and water though. We want to go to Nalvis Orbit Storage Pad. Storage Pad. And... Beautiful. Also, I forgot to say, uh, Yopo, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did I answer your question, though? Oh, we don't need... Nope, nope, you can take a break. Give to me the space platform, please. Apple strudels are great. Fair enough. Alright, so why don't we start expanding our base? Um, first thing I need to do is make some more space in my inventory. There's actually quite a lot of circuits up here. We'll put some modules up here as well. 
And for the moment, I'll put the landing pads over here. Inserters and... Inserters and belts can take a high... I, I actually forgot. Express transport belt doesn't work in space either. You need space belt for that. Uh, whoops. Anyway, that'll free up enough inventory to... Uh, get some of this done. I did not mean to pick all of that up. I don't know what else I picked up, but we'll just take the space platform for now. I was thinking about building down here, but... Well, if I build up this way, we're eventually going to encroach on the holy space trees. So... Maybe we'll not do that. Um, instead... Oh, inventory is full. Uh, whoops. Let's build down here, shall we? See how big that goes. Uh, very big, as it turns out. We can go faster with the jetpack. Not that it takes long to empty one's inventory when placing on every single tile. I feel like we're going to run out of this stuff even faster than I expected. But it's going to be enough to get started with a nice spacious base. Hey Gek, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. No you? Fair enough. That is quite a sound. Alright. I feel like we're going to have enough space to really start to make a decent base up here now. Oh my goodness, yes. Absolutely. Hey, Christoph Game. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. I should do that more often. Uh land and then take off again so we get a nice straight um nice straight placement of this stuff whoops and maybe like this bonk i like fluffiness of layered pastry Oh, that sounds nice. Making me hungry. But not the kind of hungry where I need to eat, but the kind where it's just desire for taste. Love that sound. Fair enough. Uh, let me get rid of all of this. I think I need some more robopods. Flour is in the recipe. We talk in cooking now. Alright. Nice and this is this is exceeding expectations. Um I kinda didn't expect to get this much out of um out of what we could send up in one rocket. It's actually quite big. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> I didn't realize I would 
go south when I landed. Okay. Let's fix it. Um, butts? H hello? I think we need a bit more power. It was so perfect until it wasn't? Yeah. So, I think... I, I want to do one of two things up here. One of them is bus everything which is going to end up ginormous um, and is kind of boring, to be honest. The other is maybe we could actually make a pretty pretty good base with uh, this sushi belt layout. Hey, so JMO, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thank you for the follow healer. Hope you're doing well also. So, if we make a new sushi system, uh, mainly because I want a better, a, a better unload system. Um, no, I think I want to start designing this from the from the middle, with. I want to build it around the cargo landing pads. And I should have brought a cargo rocket silo as well. I thought we had one up here, but maybe I forgot, or maybe it's just buried in these items somewhere. Or maybe I brought it up on my person and then accidentally took it back home. What does it take to actually make a cargo rocket launchy machiki? Quite a lot, but we could probably do it up here if we need to. Um, on the other hand, I could just place a ghost of it. just for design purposes. It's definitely not in the lo uh, logistic network. Okay. What if we start with one of these in the middle? And I just want to be able to send um, I think this is literally just because I want to be able to send uh, cargo rocket sections back to Nalvis so that they don't just accumulate indefinitely. Wait, we can't... I need to check this. Yeah, no, you can't use the cannon to return cargo rocket sections. one and a half months. It's been a while. Willing to risk it? Risk what? That's how long I've been imprisoned here. Who's imprisoning you? Gek's been around a while. Thanks, Gek. Been enjoying your voice for two hours? Might as well follow. Thank you. Okay, um, so this, this is the only way to get rid of, I really don't like that it's one tile bigger than the cargo landing pads, um, but we could put, I think, eight of these? No, we could put like six, six cargo landing pads around this thing if we want to. What, 
Where are you taking that? No, come back. Give it back. Everybody be checking their following? I don't like how this can't be symmetrical, so maybe I'll leave it. We'll see how many cargo landing pads we need for this. Or we could just have like a row of cargo landing pads and belt the items back. Hmm. Okay. The next thing we're going to need is something a little bit like this, but we'll definitely be changing it a bit. So... Don't know if we need that one. Um, can I copy a bit more of this? Get rid of that, and that, and that. And not necessarily that. I think apart from refactoring this so it looks a bit neater, uh, we're not actually going to change anything here. So what we're doing is just putting stuff onto the sushi belt. Um... We need to use... Oh, there's some circuitry missing. I would like to have some power so this stops flashing. And get rid of that for now. Look at everyone doing followage after me. Yeah, that's the kind of thing that starts a train. Spend most of the night designing LDS build. Numbers were very rude to my intentions, but I did it. Nice. Ian Seven Newer, or welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Um. So what are we actually doing here? We have a whitelist for items that we want to put on the sushi belt. We feed that to these two combinators right here. Each less than 200 output each means we're putting 200 of every item on the sushi belt. Christoph game, I see you. Thanks for the bunk. Um, we output one. We don't control the stack size. Set filters, byte list, read hand contents pulse, because that's going to our memory cell over here. Crickets? What? Veldak, thank you very much for the sub. Look at everyone subscribing after me. We'll see. Much appreciated, Veldak. Thank you uh, very much. It is always humbling and motivating when people want to... Oh my goodness. Um, wow. The West dude, thank you very much for the 20 gifted subs. Uh, enjoy it, Sushi Cat Yum, Doom Bread, Doom Breed, Blast Egg, P. Simon, Nef Neftiz, Sorgak... Humber, Trevi, JP, Schnunski, uh, Lopi, Marcel29, Skashman, Blue Lighting, Begop, Big Ray, Vav Vavrinek, uh, Logarathon, Manix, and Christoph Game. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much again. Um, wow, the West dude, thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, kind of blown away a little bit now. Big hype, thank you. 
you would just collateral damage. <laughs> wow, I see how it is. Enjoy your Christmas gift, even though I don't think you're American. Wait, what does American have to do with Christmas? I mean, specifically American. Uh, thanks, Wes, dude. And I hope you have a good Christmas as well. What are we doing here again? I think... I think that reset my brain. I, I, I would kind of like to have sort of a central um, spot for things that we're putting on the sushi belt, but... That's not going to be very symmetrical. Banty hacks? Okay. And what would actually happen if I banned myself? I don't think I want to test it. Gek bonk. It's okay, T hacks, you don't want to know the answer. Uh oh. So maybe we could have. Um, two of these feeding the sushi belt. And let's copy some delicious sushi down here. After seeing this thing in action, I'm not convinced by this thing, I mean, uh, this thing up here. I'm not convinced we need that much throughput of items that we're putting on the sushi belt at any given time. This is only going to be the raw resources from uh, Nalvis. Then again, there's no reason not to make it at least 45 items per second. This is actually... A really good little merger right here. Can we fit... Oh, that fits perfectly. Let's just remove that. And remove that. And we'll be able to fit our... Um, sushi belt inputs over here. Hmm. On the other hand, we're only putting... we're only using half the belt if we do that. This is... using both sides of the belt. We could do it like this. That should work pretty well. Or maybe use up a little bit more space. We could drag this one up a bit. That it's not going to be a problem. So we can use pretty much as much space as we want over here. Um, even without good stack sizes, uh, I think four stack inserters will actually saturate a space belt. Let's uh, check, shall we? Grab some space belt. Why is it set to zero in my requests. Probably because I usually am not carrying any. Okay. And I pr should probably pick up some of my inserters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, let's just do this. And I just want to double check. With a stack size of eight, does it take more than four inserters to saturate one belt? Probably. That's pretty clo- oh, it's, it is actually saturating. 
Yeah, that's, uh... It looks like it is enough. Let's just check this one more time. Yeah, it's definitely keeping up. Okay, cool. Which makes it all the more confusing to me that I haven't been able to... Uh, just by manipulating stack sizes, get a consistent throughput of 45 items per second out of a balanced unloader. But what are you going to do? Well, I think I, I have figured out how to do it, but it would take a lot of combinators. Um, basically, the stack size... No, I think I already did this. Don't know why it hasn't worked. Oh well. The stack size would have to be changing between like 12, 11, and 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I, what I figured out is we could probably do it. Have a perfectly balanced output between the chests and have a full throughput with this shape. Um... If we could change the stack sizes of the stack inserters based on how many items are still in the chests, but also have a minimum stack size of like five, probably. You sound like another streamer I follow? That's cool. Uh, which streamer? So I think we'll do just four stack filter inserters uh, on each side over here, like so. Bacon it with Jason. I'll have to check him out. And then... Same thing over here. We actually don't need that many... Um, we actually don't need this many lane balances if we're okay with oops doing something symmetrical over here that would allow us to put all of our circuitry over here probably just need one tile um, to be able to put the cargo rocket sections. Although we could go to the trouble of stacking them. Hmm. We can have the salvaged cargo rocket sections go directly into here until we've got a hundred. And then... Um, the rest go to getting stacked and entered back in here, maybe. Alright, that would go like this. And that would go like that. And this one, very similar. And this one would go here. Which would look better? Probably just do it like this. He is a good variety streamer, but I came in and was like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, and it's a uh, survival mode. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
How many items can white belts hold? Uh, 45 per second, same as blue belts. Sigma Bean, good to see you again as well. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so we might put our substation somewhere like here. What's the difference in it then? Uh, this one works in space. That's the entire difference. Stops your items from floating away. Um, there isn't actually a mechanic for your items floating away in space, as cool as that might look. Uh, it just doesn't let you build certain items in space or on the ground. So, like, uh, a lot of these machines over here were only allowed to build in space. And that's one of the things that makes you actually have to go from place to place. Okay, so we're going to need more sushi belt over here. And is it okay if I just think? Yes. Let's make it symmetrical, shall we? I like where this is going. Now, I want to make sure there's plenty of room. Not like over here. Uh, plenty of room to have space manufactories doing fluid input and output in the middle. But you can lace one item with the Y key? Place. What do you mean by... Uh, I think this is a mod. Recipe Explorer. Or is that part of vanilla now? No, no, this is part of, um, Hell mod, I think? Or is it... I've actually lost track of what mods I have. A couple of these have been suggested to me, and I haven't, uh, explored them that much. It's Z key by default to place one thing. Oh, do you mean like dropping items? Like this? T hacks, you've been up for three hours. It's time for break and some stretch. Uh, maybe in a minute. Maybe. Oh, I was going to say maybe when we reach the halfway point, but this is the halfway point. So maybe you have a point there. But usually, I like to find something where we need to wait for a moment anyway. If I take a break. It's not a mod, it's a mood. Is it a Scottish mod? Um, I might just lower the size of this a little bit. And it might actually make it easier to place this a bit more accurately. Uh, we're not actually going to use this space up here. At least for the foreseeable future. Um, I don't know how many pipes I need to make room for down the middle here, but I want to make sure there's plenty of room to fit pipes over here. I want kind of a pipe highway down the middle of this. A fluid bus, if you like. And we'll probably just keep this, or do something similar again, but with more space to play with, um, for the fluids in space. But yeah, I want to make sure... Let's just line these up, shall we? Something a bit like this. 
If these are right in front of the belts, we could fit, uh, hypothetically, nine different fluids. Is that going to be enough? I should get some space assemblers. Um, I'm trying to browse fluids though. Let's just place this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for some kind of steam. Realistically, we won't use all of these at once, probably. So you can place an item on the ground with the Z key over at Y because I'm Hungarian and we have more keys on the keyboard. You have more keys on the keyboard? That sounds good. And in Factorio, we use the Y key to place down objects to the ground. It's Z on English keyboards. Um, I just changed it to X because, uh, like a lot of controls, um, it's sort of a holdover from some older games I've played where I just X was dropped something. But I tend to, if I change the default key for something, I tend to forget what the default key is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Are there more fluids that we're going to unlock that aren't showing? Oh yeah, there's, we've already got this. Um, so we know there's definitely going to be more fluids. Why don't we make room for like 20? That should be sufficient, right? Central Europe keyboards have Y and Z swapped for some reason. If I can, I always buy English keyboard. I wonder why. I know Dvorak keyboards exist, where they change the layout entirely, and it's supposed to be much better for typing speed if you can if you can deal with learning that. Um, I don't think I would like to. Never mind just typing and stuff. I don't know if I would like to like change WASD for example. It's so ingrained at this point. It'd be like changing my pinky toe to being my big toe on the left side or something. Or more accurately, it would be like swapping my fingers around. Why don't we move this down a bit more? So this is all just tentative design, but I think I would like to do something like this. And there should be way more than enough room for fluids, even accounting for later game stuff. This is 20 pipes. In Germany, you have almost zero use for the Y character. That's why it's changed. That makes a lot of sense. All right. Um, I think I will uh, give in to the power of suggestion and take a short break. I'm going to have a little think about how we're going to do this while I do. I'll be back in just a minute or two. In Hungary, we have 44 letters in the ABC. Oh, a 44-letter alphabet? Interesting. Belgium still counts because of its half Dutch, half French. That's a lot of... Yeah, that is a lot of characters. All right, I'll be back in just a couple of minutes.
Nope. Wow. That is a lot of yay. Hey, Midjagas, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yes, indeed. I came back to be able to hear nope. that from about two or three meters away, even though I use headphones. Has to end sometime, this is true. Lord of the Foo, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Since T Hacks hasn't increased the redeem value, <laughs> yeah. I spent like 8k or something. Still have 30,000 left. It's a pity I can't script them to cost more to chain together or something. Spent 7k there. <laughs> Never increase it, it's too fun. Yeah, it's um... Like, people don't do it too often. It seems okay at this point. Okay, is this going to be... We do need some complicated circuitry to figure out what we're taking from the cargo landing pad. Because we can't fit, like, more than five filters on a filter inserter. I did 35 yays. That's why I offered the break before, not caring about t Hax's health, I just had an urge to redeem. A Westiax, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Create a soundbite that goes for longer and costs more cogs? Maybe. Um, we should be able to fit the circuitry from this thing here pretty easily. So this is our memory cell. This thing takes our whitelist and outputs one of each to the filter inserters. Assuming that we have less than 200 of them. Um, that seems fine to me. Obviously, oh, we could just change the number of this constant over here if we want to change how much of something we're allowed to have on the belts. That's actually pretty easy. Okay. Uh, I think, I don't think I'm having too much trouble understanding... Uh, this part here is to take items out that don't belong on the sushi belt. We're not going to bother with that. I'm not, not in this way. 
uh, each times negative one output each each greater than zero wait what does this do oh that's those were both for that inserter only so each greater than zero output one times negative one for stuff that's white listed yeah that makes sense so we can remove those uh, this is just a multiply by negative one no, sorry, it's a multiply by 1, which is basically just a one-way piece of wire. I don't know if that's going to be necessary in this instance. What was that? Windows. I have no idea. Um, do we actually need a one-way piece of wire for this bit? The green wire from the... Yeah, I think we do. The red wire from here sets the filters on the um, filter inserters. The green wire is for reading the pulses. But I think just having red and green wire is going to separate those signals, right? I'm pretty sure this could just go here. I could be wrong. Whatever the case, um, we're keeping this. And we're reading what's in the cargo land pad. Each less than or equal to one. Output one each. Oh, I see. So things that are in here and things that are whitelisted get multiplied by negative two. And then why? Oh, we're removing it from the filters. Why are we doing that? Things, things that are less than or equal to one reading from here and from our whitelist. So stuff we don't have and doesn't belong in the belt. No, the stuff we don't have and stuff that does belong on the belt times negative two and a I don't know what this part's for. F? Uh oh, with Windows disconnect noise, yeah. I've had this ever since I got this computer and I've never figured out what it's disconnecting. Um, it is quite rare that it does that and I've never figured out what it is. Don't use more than five different resources per pad. That's too easy. Soundbite triple yay, just copy paste the yays behind each other for 600 cogs. Oh no, that's just going to make it easier for one person to spam. This is one of the longest words in Hungary. What does it mean? Translate. For your incorruptibility. Interesting. Uh, you can disable these sounds in mmsys.cpl. Sorry, you got moderated for that. mmsys.cpl sounds. All right, I might look into that. To not unload misfired resource rockets. Hello, your computer has virus? Oh no. When I was studying natural language processing... Not... <laughs> what the hell? But that is everything better to know what disconnecting I would say. Yeah. 
I still don't know why. Okay, so currently we're outputting negative two rocket fuel. There's no rocket fuel here. Rocket fuel is on the white list. For what for what goes on the belt. We're outputting negative two rocket fuel to the filters. And we're outputting one rocket fuel to the filters over here. Oh, I, I know what this is for. Because we've run out of rocket fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously it won't pass through a zero signal. I don't know why... I don't know what the point of less than or equal to one is here. I think we just... made that a bit more confusing than it has to be. This should probably say equals one. Um, each equal to one output one, and then we remove it from the filters if we don't have any left, so that we're not wasting a filter slot. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and this one is just a times negative one for when we take stuff off the sushi belt. Okay. I don't know why I'm overthinking a sushi belt so much. We'll... Should we do two separate circuits? Or should we treat this as one giant container? And sometimes we'll end up with the resource that's only in here, but that's only going to matter. No, because then we're... We, we definitely need um, at least this part uh, to be duplicated on each side. The memory cell for the sushi belt is obviously going to be unique. And this part as well. Um, the times, uh, red wire times negative one output to green wire, whoops, is going to be a one-off as well. That goes to our counter. Each times negative one output each. And then each less than or equal to 200 output each. That goes to our filters. I'm going to have to start conserving wire at this rate. Damu, Danube steam, steam engine ships, captain's caps peak. What? Oh, I see. Sub subscribe to T Hacks Kappa. Uh, okay, I think I highlighted the wrong thing there. How do I? Captain Umbrella. What? Okay, guys, maybe call it on the multilingual stuff. I can't moderate that. Don't want to be a killjoy, but I only speak one language, pretty much. Uh, so this is going to be set filters. I don't think we care about setting the stack size. We can go over a little bit. That's fine. And then same thing over here, uh, red wire goes this way, I might just change that a little bit. I think that is the combinator that we connect our whitelist to, yeah, in which case this would probably look a bit more consistent. 
Um, yeah, a red wire here is fine, I think. Yep, in fact, it's required. Does the red wire have to go to... No, that's... We're not using that. Okay. So we have a decider that comes from that as well that says uh, each thing that equals one output one. And it also connects to the storage. Like so. I'm going to try using both of these containers as if they're one, sort of. The economy of economics. Okay. One language only? You speak Australian, British, and American? <laughs> oh no. Google translated. Yes, indeed. Okay. Uh, so our whitelist also connects here. I really want to set this up for... Um... Kind of like LTN, like we figure out what items we want automatically sent up on the next rocket, and then we feed those as signals to maybe this one, and have the bots automatically supply everything. That's going to be a bit complicated, but it's also going uh, to be cool, which is the important thing. Why is that set to solar panels? Oh, I see. So we don't have any solar panels in here, which is why... Whoops. Uh, help. Uh-oh. Which is why we need a... times negative one, or... Why is it times negative two, though? If we're doing negative one... Negative one should be sufficient. Okay. Red wire goes here. And connect these ones. So anything that we don't have in the cargo landing pads, the filter inserters, that's good. That's very good. Okay. I just want to double check these ones were working. Yes, they were. Fantastic. Also, thanks for the gift sub, West Dude, if you're still here. Cheers, indeed. I found a language where they say 10 1, 10 2, 10 9. I think hacks banned him. Kappa. Very Kappa. Also, do space installations have a day and night cycle? Uh, apparently, the answer is yes and no. I wasn't aware that there was one. Um. Can we look at it through these stats? Uh, Mariel has a 38.12 minute day-night cycle. Orbit has nothing. And Nervous Orbit doesn't mention a day-night cycle. 
Uh, every time we've been here, I've just seen the solar panels have been point, uh, outputting exactly 1.9 megawatts. It was yes to signal transmission between planets, no day-night in orbit. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So is this actually finished, or have I forgotten something? I've got that. I've got these. These are removed. Uh, this may be necessary. So the only thing I haven't implemented yet is counting positive one from the inserters. Read hand contents pulse whenever they put something on the sushi belt. And can we be more clever? Do we actually... Do we actually not need one more combinator for this? If we pass that... So this is an output, this is an output, so it's not going to get... The pulse isn't going to go anywhere on the red wire. Um, if we pass the read hand contents pulse from the green wire to our memory cell, what's going to happen? Nothing bad, I think. Right? It'll be receiving... Oh, yeah, this is why we're doing it. It's it's the other way around. The um, Everything that's on the sushi belt that's being counted by this combinator right here as a memory cell is going to be passed to these uh, uh, filter inserters as a filter. That's the problem. So... One way piece of wire, each times one, output each. And connect like so. And then that just goes straight to our memory cell. Cool. And then if we want to know what's in both of these cargo landing pads, we can point here. If we want to know what's on the sushi belt, we can point here. Fantastic. Um, I would also like to... Well, I kind of need um, a cargo rocket silo to add the circuitry th to this one. But just so that we remember what this is for, we'll do this. French is one of impressive exceptions. 90 is 42010 for even more practicality. Aren't languages amazing? Okay. Now the question is... Well, actually, it's probably a pretty simple answer. Um, can we get by with our whole base with only six cargo landing pads? I think the answer is going to be yes. Um, although we're still going to we're still going to accumulate. Um, what are they called? Uh, space capsules all the time. In English, it's score for 20. French is one of, oh uh, yeah, there's some famous speech, if I recall correctly. That's some pretty old-timey speech, though. Um, yeah, I think I am happy with this. So we've got our four, uh, our 100 and I, blah, 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 words. Our 180 item per second 
rather high capacity uh, sushi belt. We've got room for the largest uh, space construction thingamajigs. With room for a hypothetical 20 fluids between them. And maybe it's probably fine to have like fluid storage over here and here, whoops, like wherever outside of the um, sushi belt area. We'll almost definitely have something almost exactly like this for um, fluid, or maybe we'll just I was going to say maybe we'll just keep this one and pump the fluids over here, but no, we want to have... Uh, we want to have the cargo landing pad able to get rid of the... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Words are hard. Um... We want the cargo landing pad to be able to get rid of these items automatically so that we can fully automate rockets going back and forth. Um, maybe what we need to do here as well is connect these filter inserters with wire and a constant combinator. and connect it to this thing. Stack size one, good. Uh, set filters. No, that's not gonna work. I was thinking of like set filters blacklist and or set filters whitelist. No, that's not going to work. I, I want to be able to use one filter inserter for each of these to put um, the cargo rocket sections and uh, space capsules directly in here. But that may be a problem because there's so many items. Veldak. Thank you very much for the gifted subs. Uh, Costco Taquitos, enjoy it. Westiex, Errol, uh, Adroxor, and Pitosh, Pitoshka. Much appreciated, Veldak. Thank you. Um, I, I'm running out of ways to try to convey how appreciative and overwhelmed I am by these uh, these little, not little, these, uh, gifts. Thank you. You all know you're not under any obligation, uh, but if you want to put something in the tip jar, I very much appreciate it, and it is very, um, humbling and motivating. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Thanks, Veldak. So I'm probably going to give up on, because we'd have to add even more combinators to do this, I'll probably end up just adding another filter inserter for each of these. Um, we could probably move this down one. And then those would go here. Um, yeah, I'll probably just simplify this. It almost feel for me, it almost feels like a defeat to have to do it like this, but it's probably fine. Uh... Cargo rocket section. This goes here. 
and this goes here. Well, at least at least there's a sort of symmetry to that. Although I don't know where the substation is going to go. Maybe we should steal the radar construction pylon. Probably not. Well, actually, we could do this with a substation or two, right? I get more entertainment value and efficiency on Twitch than in cinema, where I pay over $5 for two hours, and it still includes ads. Oh god, don't remind me. And I need to have clothes on too. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Twitch confirmed superior in every way. Um, the, not just cinema, but other things, the ad creep, if you like. Like, they've been steadily making it worse for years and years, just little by little, but for literally decades, um, they've been creeping more of that stuff in. Um, I guess I kind of want to go back for the cargo rocket silo. I'd like to place as many of these things as possible before I go. Um, I can steal this thing for the corners. Or we could just do it like this. Should I go even further out? It should be pretty easy to expand this base out if we end up wanting to do that. Less content, more ads, same bloated price, yeah. I had a friend who uh, their family had pay TV when it was quite new here. And at first, it was, like, kind of exactly as you might expect or hope for. You know, you're paying for the service, so um, it doesn't have ads, and it's got good content, etc., etc. Um, but year by year, it just... Eventually, they just started squeezing in more and more. Uh, advertisements and the the actual programming that you get out of it got worse. That doesn't quite reach. Whoa, loud. Uh, how about we do... That looks okay, I guess. Wait, is this one going to line up here? That's perfect. You have ads on your Netflix. Rip. Wait. Who has ads on Netflix? I don't remember any ads on Netflix. Ad creep is the worst. It's honestly mind-blowing how much you have to deal with these days. Yeah, they just slowly increase it. Um, kind of gradually increasing the audience's overall tolerance for it, I guess. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that, I think. Let's go grab some space belt. And let's go faster than this, please. Oh, that's a little too fast. I do want the extra power or maybe life support. Where did my life support go? Oh, it's over here. Can we grab some space belt? Apparently... Oh, are my logistic requests? Okay, yeah. This is exactly the reason why I lost... Why I host all my own stuff. If it is free... Your... You are the paying model. If you have a cheap subscription, you're probably still paying with your data. Only premium is possible not paying with your data. 
I mean, for the people making money off it, they're probably thinking, why not both, right? Google once had the motto, don't be evil. Yeah, but it's a for-profit company. Like, e even if they had been sincere with that, if it wasn't just a marketing ploy, um, that state of affairs is unstable. T-Hacks, what's your favorite food? Uh, probably pizza. It's definitely... It's definitely... In terms of, like, statistical favorite, what I eat most often that I particularly like. Uh, homemade, usually vegetarian pizza. What kind of pizza? Like, uh, kind of supreme vegetarian kind of thing. Mushroom. Uh, maybe capsicum. Tomato. Olives. I mean, you can really mix it up with pizza, obviously. Let's do our corner over here. Nice, light, and refreshing. What's capsicum? Uh, I think Americans call them peppers. Or... Do you, do you have peppers that are not, um, like, not spicy? They're very moist. Paprika? Bell peppers. Yeah, bell peppers, that's it. I think my American friend told me that. Bell peppers. Paprika. Red and green peppers. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, if you don't go, if you don't go overboard with uh, too much meat or anything, uh, pizza doesn't need to be particularly unhealthy. Oh wait, I'm already carrying lots of belt. What did I come back for? Was it undergrounds? No, splitters, maybe. Bell peppers are delicious. Nice. Uh, let's. Copy, paste. Well, this is probably going to be a bit different. Why don't we steal it from over here? And see how it looks. What? Oh, there we go. Um, can I just start by doing this? Is that going to line up with this one? Yes, good. Whoops. Okay. Uh, one more of these. Is that okay? Uh, I guess it doesn't matter that much. That's actually pretty good, I think. Okay, more belt, please. The paprika, paprika spice is the must ingredient for goulash. It's made from dried paprika slash bell pepper slash capsicum. Dried capsicum, that sounds interesting. Um... But yeah, speaking of putting uh, various vegetables and a bit of cheese and stuff on something and calling it done, uh, one of my favorite staple foods, like just day to day, is a uh, homemade wrap. 
which is convenient because there's a lot of overlap. Uh, I've used all my substations, haven't I? No, there's 20 in my inventory. Oh, my bots were probably just tired. Yeah, there's a lot of overlap um, between my pizza ingredients and my homemade wrap ingredients. Oh, there they go. Smoked paprika spices, especially delicious. So, chili peppers are obviously peppers, but you call things that aren't spicy, like capsicum bell peppers, um, how, how, how do, how do food names work, is, it, is what I guess I'm trying to figure out here. This should be a decent sized base, right? We can always just expand it though. The only trouble is once it's in place, like if we end up deciding this, we want this to go further south, um, we're gonna have to be very careful about removing inserters that are linked to the circuit network. It's keeping track of what's on the belt. We can almost definitely fit like a thousand of each item on this belt. We'll see. Um, but we could always just expand it like east and west. That would work. May as well place all of these solar panels while we're here. It's quite a lot of them. Wait, how much power do... Oh my goodness. Maybe I should take some of these solar panels home. That is a big rock. How do I target it? Can I... There we go. Are my bots okay? We do reckon... Recognize chilies, jalapenos, etc. It's like small paprika, but spicy, and we call it by its commonly known name. Just the mention... Oh! Uh, it didn't occur to me to put a filter on this. And we've ended up with a bunch of scrap in this chest over here. We've also ended up with way more multi-spectral mirrors than I necessarily expected, so that's cool. Um, how get rid of scrap? My inventory's not that full. Just a little bit more. Wait, what? Why are we not... What? Why... Why was Inserter not putting scrap in recycling facility? This is scrap, isn't it? It's definitely scrap. Well, obviously this one's a bit full right now, but I don't understand. Hmm. That's a little bit odd. Laureen Lama, thank you for the host. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nice, nice. Finally, you reached the joys of recycling in space. Yes, indeed. Uh, so you've been playing some Darkest Dungeon, though I've been a little busy to watch it myself. How's that been going?
Um, does anyone know why Inserter does not want to pick up scrap? Is some of it contaminated? Uh, let's find out. I don't think so. All of this is scrap, right? Even though there's two different images for it, at least. Recycling in space. I wish this would happen IRL. Mama Lama? Mama Lama. Heavy oil is full. Oh. I should have realized. I thought it was a bit odd how we got like one oil at a time and and it wasn't just disappearing yeah that's um that answers that okay then much simpler than i thought actually we can just Put this right here. In fact, if we're gonna add storage there, why don't we just leave it like that for now? Okay. We're gonna want a... We're already using this signal transmitter. Do I have any more? It's using 10 megawatts, but, like, that's actually nothing in space. Like, normally, I would look at something like that and go, oh my goodness, we have to put this on a power switch. And then figure out how we're going to know on the other end when to turn things... Well, the receiver, I think, is only 2 megawatts. Only. But, yeah, normally I would look at this something like this and think, geez, that's a waste of power, but... No, it's practically nothing up here. Um, do I have any more of these lying around? I actually have a receiver, but not a transmitter. Can we make one? Actually, yeah, it's much cheaper than I expected. Let's grab some processing units. And... Off we go. Why I have no about this... Why I have no idea about this yet. Mojo mentions you every time on Friday when he paints wagons. Paints wagons? What game is this? Um, Are we going to need... We probably need a signal transmitter for each one of these cargo landing pads, right? If we try to be too clever by half and, like, split these or something, if, in terms of sending the signal back, we're probably going to end up, like, overfilling a cargo landing pad, which is going to be a complete disaster. Uh, let me go and grab some solar panels, since it's so easy to power everything over here. Oh, that's something we could incorporate into this design. We could leave room for solar... Well, that's just too perfect. Um, I don't know how I... Oh, it's probably because of the substation range that this ended up being 4x4. Four four. We could maybe do something similar over there. This is not quite the same. Should we leave the baby solar panel there, or should we um, change the belts around to make it look more uniform? 
We also get more power out of it. Uh, our Alex, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I kind of like that. Also, what are my bots doing? Oh, I just don't have much range. I'll remind you then. <laughs> Should I... You know what? It would make it more consistent with the rest of the base. Why don't we do this? Uh, probably because... Wait, I didn't actually move the substations. This whole thing is actually just one tile too tall for that to fit properly. Should we move this entire thing one tile? It's not that much yet. Hmm. Why not? And then... Using this. Oh. Using... Wait, how did this happen? Those do line up. Oh, I see. Oh boy, that might be difficult to place. There we go. Alright, bots, off you go. I should probably use some batteries in this, uh... Bruster suit. can still only make the most basic one. Or, we could just hold our breath for a little bit. What could go wrong? Okay, that's happening a little bit faster than I had in mind. But I do have an idea that we could really take advantage of this. Um, let's go grab ourselves a space capsule. If, if our bots will calm down for a moment. Monka S, yes indeed. Okay, I have an idea. We're going to grab this space capsule, and we're going to place it right about here, and we're going to hop in and switch to power armor. Easy. Space capsicum needed? Space capsicum. Delicious. Is that just barely out of range? Yeah, it is. Then, quickly, quickly. Oh, where is it? There it is. Okay. Maybe I should have a filtered slot for it if I'm going to do that. Uh, what? Did I... How did... What just happened? Let's try that again. Okay, that seems okay. Uh, 
And then this is the only big block of deconstruction left. Or, now that I think about it, can't we just put life support in the power armor and it's just not as good? Halved. If installed in a non-spacesuit, efficiency bonus is halved and won't work in space. Never mind. Okay. Let's uh, swap this out again. Oh. And it dropped some combinators. And now we're done. There's a little bit of belt missing over here still. All right, cool. So, oh, I've gone and well, note this is what red red and green wire are for. We'll connect the red wire to this one so that we don't have contamination from over here. And that's just going that's just going to report um what should we call this cargo landing pad? Sushi landing pad one, ignoring that this one exists. Wait, where's the name for it? Oh, it's literally just called Nalvis Orbit landing pad? Okay, so this one is going to be Nalvis Orbit Sushi pad one. Can I not? Oh, I have to click this. And then signal transmitter Navis Orbit Sushi Pad 1. And we'll do the same thing over here as well. Uh, except that's probably going to copy the names or something. Um, I think I can make another transmitter. In fact, we can almost make one for every one of these cargo pads before we even check to see if we need more resources. Uh, so this one is going to copy the name of this. Cool. And then I think we'll just do all of the decision making for... Oh, hold on. Let me just check. What signals do we get off of this? Nothing. So it's not like the cargo rocket silo that outputs um, uh, E, F, L, green signal is an input cargo rocket signal, space capsule signal, etc. We can't... Uh, we can't tell how many empty slots we've got in this thing unless we do some math. It's not like we can just wait until every resource that goes on the sushi belt is running low, because we're going to use one resource faster than another. We actually need to do the math to figure out how many stacks we've got of each resource, and that's not taking into account that uh, even with the machines taking, we might end up with... Okay, looking at this, I don't think it's going to be a problem. 
but I've definitely seen in Spidertrons with the logistic requests, for example, uh, if you limit a uh, Spidertron to say 200 electronic circuits, you might end up with a stack of 150 and a stack of 50, unfortunately. Um, oh, here it is. Oh no, that's, that's a stack of 50. Okay, I think this is okay, actually. We're not going to get wasted stacks, it seems like. Which means we should be able to uh, read what's in the cargo landing pad, assume that it's all stacked correctly, and do some math downstairs and decide what we're going to send in a cargo rocket and when we can send it. Don't LDS stack to 10 normally? I believe so, yes, but this is space exploration. It changes it to 50. Um, so yeah, that should be fine. I'll probably move this a bit further away. But just as sort of a placeholder while we're figuring out what's going on, that'll be fine. Um, I guess probably this one, one of these two at least, is going to be ice and coal. The other thing I haven't considered yet as well is we could probably just do it with bots and we've got plenty of room for some clever circuitry over here is uh, actually loading the cargo rocket sail with useful things not just using it to store and get rid of uh, extra cargo rocket silos and um, space capsules. Um, but yeah, since we've got, well, not that much room up here anymore, but I think, well, we can always just belt it wherever we want. Um, we could definitely fit something like the oil system that we've designed already, uh, but a new iteration of it somewhere like here. Um, this one's probably going to be coal and ice. Or maybe this one. Um, I think we've got... At this point, it seems like we've got way more cargo landing pads than we're necessarily going to need. On the other hand, maybe this will become like a hub that imports everything for final manufacturing. That sounds pretty cool, actually. If we use, um, if we have cargo rocket silos at multiple surfaces that maybe point here, it's probably going to be a lot more difficult to, um, to coordinate when to send the rockets. But I guess, I mean, it, if anything, it might just take another signal transmitter or something. Or a few more. Yeah, none of it's not doable. Oh, I almost missed a spot. That's looking a bit more consistent. Um, this one goes here. Oh, 
How much power do we have just from that, I wonder? 31 megawatts. Nearly 32. That's pretty good. Obviously we're going to use a lot more of them somewhere. And I could also go to the trouble of connecting these ones up. Alright, well, we've got our... I, I really want to make the cargo rocket silo before I go, actually. Because that's going to have just insane capacity to take all of the spare rocket parts. I also want to know exactly how many stacks um, might end up getting taken up by... The 500 items from the cargo rocket, plus the extra, um, uh, the space capsule and the cargo rocket sections that we might salvage. Base is 20% chance for cargo rocket parts to be recovered. So, does that mean we usually get 20? Wait, that's the base chance. And currently we've researched... Uh, I can't actually... Oh, each one of these does 4%. Does it say so in our bonuses? Or do we have to just add it up? A lot of things are damage. Um, yeah, I don't think it's listed here. Okay, so this is number three. We've done two of these, so 28%. We should expect 28 uh, cargo rocket sections plus one space capsule uh, per launch. Round it up to 30 or 35 if we're quote unquote unlucky. So let's just say to be extra safe, we have to make sure there's like 550 stacks um, empty before we send another cargo rocket. Check I. Cargo rockets. Oh, here we go. 28. There it is. Just what we calculated. Thank you, home away. And uh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Morpheus is out. Good to see you again as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If you open the information, it tells you... Okay, yep. Yeah, thank you. All right. Can we handcraft a cargo rocket silo? We need a thousand steel and concrete, 200 of these other things, which shouldn't be a problem. Possibly. I need to make more room in my inventory. Uh, we'll drop off the space belt first. Oh, I accidentally put it all in one chest. That's going to be a bit more difficult to keep track of. Okay. Steel. That's definitely a lot more than a thousand. Um, what else? Concrete. Do we have concrete? We do. Don't tell me we have exactly a thousand. Twelve hundred. That's not that much. But it is enough. Oops. Uh, we also need four stacks of big electric motors and 200 processing units.
There we go. And I was just about to say I have to remember not to activate the jetpack because it will reset the crafting time for this thing. Meanwhile, I am stuck on top of a cargo landing pad. Oh well, what can you do? And there it is. Whoops. Now we can connect wire to these things. I'm not entirely liking the way that looks, but I don't think I'm going to add like medium power poles just to tidy that up. Maybe I am going to do that because we can't really fit a substation over here very well. That doesn't look right. Yes, it does. Except... One, two, three... One, two, three. That's not so bad. We don't actually have a power connection for it yet. How about this? And how about some symmetry? Alright, green wire. Do not go over there, please. That looks a whole lot less... Ridiculous. Okay. So the circuit condition on these is... Cargo rocket section is less than 100. And... The rest of them are going to compact. You need to be able to connect liquid rocket fuel. Oh no. Uh, I think we can do it. No, wait. Space underground pipe doesn't go that far, does it? Oh no. Um, can we... Obviously, we can't put regular pipe here. Let's go grab some pipe and see if we can figure something out. I don't think we can. Um, pipe is over here. I think it only crosses like five tiles. Yeah, five tiles. Which is obviously a lot less than this. Unfortunately, we can't do diagonal... Uh, underground pipes. I suppose we have to use this one. Which means we'll just have to move these ones over a bit. Which is not as much of a disaster as we might have expected. It's still going to make things look kind of ungood. Don't know. Okay, how about this? Or maybe this. Yeah, that'll be fine. And we have our like fluid bus over here, so that shouldn't be too bad. Cool. More spaghetti, please. Not today, Satan. No, this is actually fairly neat. Um, just a dangling wire straight across a cargo rocket silo. What could possibly go wrong? Nothing. 
Nothing could possibly go wrong. Not ever. Okay, um, let me go grab some space assemblers. Or maybe I should just use one of them. Um, where are they? I actually don't know. I know we've got some. Like we, we, we have quite a lot of space assemblers up here somewhere. I completely forgot we have this free beryllium plate, though I don't know how far that's going to take us. Oh. Um. That's... Wait. Construction pylon. It's not like a power pole. Never mind. I was trying to put it back in here, actually. Distributes electrical energy. Radar construction pylon. Distributes electrical energy. Extends construction area and provides radar vision. That's a lot. But... Okay, yeah. No, it's the giant substation that I was hoping to find one more of. But I guess we could move this thing down here, and it would power all of this. We wouldn't have to worry about where our substations are going to go. It's no big deal, though. Anyway, I almost forgot what I came here for. That's a lie. I did forget what I came here for. Um... Space assemblers. We might have some in the robo network. Oh, there they go. There they are. Fantastic. All right, let's grab some. Should we? Uh, I wonder if I should move these ones. Oh, you can't move it with piccadillies. I wonder if I should move these ones up a little bit, as much as filter inserters don't like to be long, so that we can belt something in from the side here. Um, because otherwise, I don't know... I don't know where we're going to fit our... Cargo rocket packer. Maybe all of these I have to gonna output around the sides and come in over here somewhere. Or we could just use bots. Once we've automated um, items coming up here, bot attrition really isn't that big of a deal. Hmm. There's actually only room for a requester chest over here. But we're probably only going to send things uh, back to Nalvis manually from here. I don't know, this feels like the sort of thing that should get done with a build. Then again, we don't have that much space remaining. So we need a filter inserter, taking out cargo rocket sections. Actually, what would be even better then all of these filter inserters normally is if we just had one of them putting cargo rocket sections into here and it's right next to an assembler um, you know it might look something like this well 
those wouldn't necessarily have to be filters, but you get the idea. But we haven't really left room for that. I guess if we... If we space these out a bit, we don't really need a lot of these inserters. I think I'd like to keep these ones where they are. Not just because it would be a pain to move them, but this kind of works. Um, but we'll move these out just enough to have some room for a belt. Uh, I don't want to copy paste these because they have names. So we could just do this. Nice and easy. Let's make it go clockwise. And then we're not going to need these medium poles, that's for sure. Well, hopefully. Oh, hello, bots. It's also going to leave plenty of room up here if we want to add some stuff. In fact, we could have even more cargo landing areas if we want to. But for now, I think we'll just do this. It doesn't quite reach. That seems safe. Oh, but I'm forgetting one of the main things I wanted to do, if I'm going to bother to change this. So this goes here. Is there a middle to this? There is not. That is slightly upsetting. Okay. This goes here, and here, and here. This goes here, and here, and here, and here. Um, if I'm taking directly from this, uh, we might need some circuit wire for this one. If we have a combinator with negative 100, um, or probably negative 99 because 99 extra items set blacklist on the filter inserter connect it to the cargo rocket pad and then it would only put one that's not going to work no I think we're just going to need, like, extra inserters, unfortunately. Or... Okay, if these ones just say... That's going to look messy. Maybe I will return the medium poles. Um... That actually doesn't look too bad. Unfortunately, that doesn't quite reach. Okay. 
Okay. So we're going to read from this. And we'll say cargo rocket uh, section has to be less than 100, stack size 1. That's going to have access to the space capsules though. Whoops. Filter inserter. Whitelist cargo rocket section. I guess we could have this belt go around here somehow. Instead of having these double inserters. Hmm. What if we move this one up and use the long arm to insert? Might look a little bit better. Let me go grab my long arms. And then... This one can go over here. It's a little bit better. Assembling pieces of rocket in the assembling machine. Does that work in vanilla too? Uh... Wait, what are we assembling? Uh, this thing is actually turning cargo rocket sections into uh, basically stacked cargo rocket sections. Um, the regular old... Uh, this satellite rocket silo, this is like the vanilla rocket silo. It takes heat shielding, low density structures, rocket control units, and solid rocket fuel. And it outputs rocket... Uh, well, no, it doesn't actually output it. Um, it makes 100 rocket parts before it launches. This is something different, yes. Uh, so the cargo rockets, um, you have to put in 100, uh, one space capsule, 100 cargo rocket sections, the, the first hundred cargo rocket sections that you put in, you will briefly see them appear in the cargo, but once they've been there for a, uh, for a few ticks, they'll disappear and uh, contribute to this count right here. But once you've got a hundred, um, you can actually put more of them uh, in the cargo rocket silo. But... I would like to stack them before I put them in here. Um, and then you just need fuel and a space capsule and it's ready to launch. I got confused for a sec because it looked similar to the rocket part. Yeah, it does. In fact, I mean, look at... Look at this. Rocket part. Hang on. Part. Hang on. Rocket... I don't think I can find it in this menu. Yeah, no, let's look. Let's compare them on a constant combinator if we can. Part. No. I guess we can't use that for a signal either. Well, let's just look at this right here. Cargo rocket section. And over here, we've got rocket part. It, I think it's exactly the same uh, icon. Cargo rocket section looks like this. Yeah, I think you could copy paste these on top of each other and you couldn't tell the difference. A emo? 
welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing good. Uh, hope you're doing well. Try cargo. Cargo rocket section, two times cargo rocket section. No, this is all cargo rocket sections. How did your little puzzle that you were figuring out today go, Emo? It's not that this part is in any way difficult to solve, but... Is there a clever way to do it? Uh, that doesn't... Okay, here we go. So, all of the cargo rocket sections will end up here. This one will stop at 100. Um, if I use a constant combinator and say... Oh, I know. Actually, this is not that difficult. Okay, cargo rocket section, negative 99. And we set filters blacklist. Okay, when we put too many types of things in this cargo rocket silo, we're going to run into problems, though. Um... But we could... What's it called? Space capsule. Negative 500 means we could fill this thing with space capsules. Well, negative 500... What? Yeah, yeah, negative 500. Um, if all we're putting in this thing is cargo rocket sections and space capsules. This will work just fine. Um, we don't need the enable disable, just set filters blacklist. If we want to put a bunch of different stuff in here as well, uh, we could have a couple of one by combinators that are going to isolate these signals. Um, cargo rocket section times one, output same, and this will be space capsule, and then we'll put our combinator on this side, and that'll work. So we can put whatever we want in here. This will put in exactly a hundred cargo rocket sections and as many space capsules as we like and as many of anything else. Oh, I overcomplicated this. There we go. So we, we just isolate this signal, negative 99, set filters blacklist, that's it. I went to sleep, so did not try improving it yet. All right. I'm actually a little bit happy with that. That's not too bad. It's probably the minimum number of inserters that we could have used for this, in combination with the minimum number of combinators if we're going to minimize inserters.
Okay. I think I am actually pretty happy with that. Should we maybe look at fully automating sending some stuff up here? I would like to know exactly where our um, oil system is going to be before we do. Also, I wonder if by redesigning it, I might come up with something a little bit better. Especially considering we've got more space to work with this time. Um... I'm not seeing a likelihood of this part improving. Hmm. I don't like that with the storage tanks. Can we maybe just have them repeat like normal? Or is was there a good reason not to do that? No, these aren't going anywhere else. Not really. That's just kind of a bit of wasted space. a good fit. That one not so much. Yeah, I don't hate this. This seems okay to me. Do we really need this long space pipe here though? Uh, maybe not. Let's check on Nalvis. Nalvis is... Seems like it's doing just fine. Nope, I lied. Why are we not core mining? Because there's no power. Why is there no power? It's the middle of the day. Where has... Uh... Our nuclear plants over here have stopped again even though I know we have tons of fuel. All of the nuclear plants have stopped. Well, that's going to be an issue. If I had to guess before I look, I would say that some of our small trains are stuck somewhere, and there's no small trains to assign to deliver the nuclear fuel. Um, how did I do? Also, how can I... There we go. Small train is... Not stuck, I don't think. It's just going to take a long time. Uh, no, we've got at least one small train in the depot. Oh, it's leaving now. Did we not make this high enough priority? Where's the priority? Uh, there's no priority.
That's probably the problem. Let's see if we can fix uh, fix this remotely just by changing a combinator setting. Request priority. 200. Very important. And we'll do the same thing over yonder. Oh, we do have a train coming here. What's it bringing? It is bringing nuclear fuel. It's full of other things. How did... I don't know how... Oh, and another one going to pick up uranium. Where is it taking it? Oh, I remember. We specifically have a system in place to take random items out of the trains when they come back to the depots. So, I don't know how a small train would have been assigned to deliver fuel. Yeah, look at this. It's, um... It's outputting right now. Well. You know, if I had set this thing up, if I had finished building this uh, uranium facility as well, that probably would have prevented this from happening, at least for a long time. Missing a connection probably bonked a pole. Uh, good guess. Good try. Monkey bags. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the follow. Um, so are all of these connected? This is obviously going to need to connect like so. That's fine. Uh, that... That was already kind of okay, but I think I would prefer this. Cool. Do you have a YouTube channel? Uh, technically, but I haven't put anything on it yet. Um, I do have a little bit more time on my hands in the near future, so I'll be looking at uh, uploading the VODs to the YouTube as my next uh, little project slash habit to get into. Looking through your past broadcasts for part one, but it only goes back to part 43. Sorry for that. Yeah, starting uh, probably tomorrow, honestly, I'm going to start uploading those to YouTube. Uh, my connection's not bad, but it's not amazing. That may take a while. A video is not the smallest of files. That goes... No, that, let's check all of these. That goes there. That goes there. This goes here. And this goes... It looks messy, but it's sort of like a very deliberate, organized mess, if that makes sense. Um, I think instead of making quite such a mess, over here we'll have like a lot of this other stuff somewhere else, kind of, maybe. We'll see. This, is, this obviously turned into pipe spaghetti at this point. I do like... Um, this part for the cracking, though. Uh, we'll see about where that's going to fit. I believe JD said three a day is the limit, but that would still be a lot of Factorio to watch. Uh, what kind of limit uh, are we talking about here?
There's something wrong. Okay. That is heavy oil. Or it would be his internet. Soon Twitch will send us an email. What and how much we watched. I think I did 2700 hours of Factorio streams last year. Nice. Okay, this one is obviously going to go like this or something. Let's just move these pipes around. That goes there. This goes here. And what the heck is this? Oh, is that light oil? I think it's light oil. So that would go here. We don't necessarily need to use these giant pipes in this area. One, two, three, four, five. Why don't we use a fiver right about here? Oh, we want this one connected. Absolutely. Uh, water comes in from the side, probably. I mean, unless we could... Yeah, water probably comes in this way. In before Twitch says you've watched over 9,000 hours? Yes. 365 times 24 equals 8,760. Watching hacks lurking in many tabs and screens. What if you've got like... Like four tabs of this channel open at once with... Uh, some replays and stuff. What is this? what is this pipe? That's water. Okay, so that's water going to the spaghetti. We don't need that. Um, that's kind of spaghetti. We won't necessarily be needing that. And can we do better? Given all the space we've got. Light oil comes up here and goes up one. Petroleum. Okay, let's try redesigning this a bit, shall we? We could maybe do the power management over on this side. Except then we would need circuit wire to reach from here to here. On the other hand... We might be able to... That is so close to being good. If we move this one tile over... Heavy oil... Could come out this way. And light oil goes here, or this might be a bit neater, I guess. Wait, what is this? No, that's petroleum. Don't do that. Light oil goes here, petroleum goes here. It's not too bad. I use spare laptop as TV, has Twitch on most of the time. I do work or play on my primary laptop. I'm at one channel 99% of the time. I don't do VODs, no time for that. Yeah, I kind of wish, uh, not just for entertainment, for other things, I kind of wish I was a speed super intelligence sometimes. 
There's literally no way to keep up with everything. Okay. That looks pretty good, I think. Um... Definitely want to do it over this side. And maybe we should do it like this. It actually looks kind of cool. That's maybe being a bit too eager to snuggle it up nice and close, but... We know we don't need more space than three tiles here. Could maybe do it like this. Where are we getting the steam from? Uh, oh, electric boiler right there. That's easy. That just means we need water. So, maybe here. That doesn't reach as far as I would like. Can we do a long pipe? Oh, we need some inserters. Of course. We actually need stack inserters for this? Eight coal per second, I guess so. In fact, we might technically need um, two stack inserters for these things. Since we don't have that big of a stack size. Now I'm pretty sure the stack inserter can do a full swing at more than once a second. I believe there's been a study that says you can't have more than 360 friends. You mean like the monkey sphere? As you personally can't keep track of who did what, and any more than that. And you'll see them as statistics and not people. Basically. I don't remember the number, but there's something to that effect, if I recall correctly. Um, should we just copy this, or we'll see if we can do better. Let's start up here. Oh, that's a good fit. That's probably what we did up here. So the middle has the underground. Yeah, I see. Because that's not going to reach the next one. So may as well do it like this. Unless. Unless. If we use a 3B. Put it right in the middle. 3Bs do connect on the sides. This goes here. Oh, that's a perfect fit. Much better. I like that. Right in the middle. Okay, so stack inserter. I guess we'll just take from... No, this is fine. Two, three, uh, four. Actually, that would go there normally. Can we fit... A substation somewhere? Not really. Dare we use medium poles? Wait, how far are we from... Uh, making some pylons? Probably way too far. Oh my goodness. Oh no. I'm... I'm sorry I asked. Please don't hurt me. Okay, um, medium, po oh, it's one tile short. 
that's upsetting. I have over 700 friends. Yeah, this guy shows profile picture from friends list. What's his name? John? Nope, it was Steve. Uh, I'm not very good with names for the most part, but that's not really the point, and yes. I think it would have to be unique content, so the same stream or the same replay wouldn't be counted. Yeah, probably. Maybe. I guess we'll try jamming in a substation every time. Oh, that's already powered. Um, minor detail, where is our ice going to fit? Can we do it like this? We actually can. And I think we only need... Is this it? Yeah. Oh, but we need to fit another biochemical facility. Uh-oh. Maybe we'll move this a little bit. Or maybe we'll move the whole thing over a little bit. Uh, water from ice. Yes, please. If this goes here... Hey, Nyron Wolf. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your stream? Oh, I should remember to shout out people when they didn't necessarily raid as well. The wolves surround you, Iron Wolf Raid. Welcome, welcome. AccuDoc. Alex Hudson. Sydney Kenson von Iced Tea. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, Alex Hudson. Good to see you again. And... The... Th Three Green Eyed Gamer. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. Power Dim X. And Ragnarok. Welcome as well. So currently we are taking our sweet time designing a new space base. Uh... I was going to say things on Nalvis are pretty chill, but last I checked... Oh, there we go. Uh, we had a little issue with delivering nuclear fuel, but it seems like that's been resolved. Made some progress, community map tonight. Nice. Uh, maybe I should start doing community maps again. Should we... Is this going to be even? Wait, what's the rate from this thing? Does it even matter? We're going to get way more water than we need anyway. Well, are we? 1600. That doesn't use any water. This could use only 438. That is nothing. Big random builds and 30 plus signs. Nice. Okay. Um, do we want to move all of this over a bit just so that we could fit the ice melting machine really conveniently? We're going to end up with some spaghetti if we try and cram this in here, I think. On the other hand, um, the water outputs are going exactly 
where they need to. This just goes here. And this goes here. Well, actually, let me just do what we did over here with these connections. That just barely reaches. Um, on the other hand, this is only literally just two machines, so... Underground... Doesn't quite reach the way I would like it to. Hold on, how many tiles is this? N. No, 11. So 9 would fit here. Do we have a 9er we can copy-paste just for design? That's a 7. That's a 15. That's a 9. Perfect. Uh, do we want the storage space for water, though? Or is it okay to just have... To have the ice sitting in the... One ice makes a hundred water. Which means... 250 ice? A thousand ice makes all of this. A full train. Um, how much does ice stack to? 200? So five stacks of ice is equal to all of this. That's kind of crazy. And we can get 1.6k water out of this thing. I don't think we need any water storage. I'm surprised I built this the first time. Maybe it was more out of habit than anything else. Um, we can, of course, get a lot more throughput dumping water into a storage tank as opposed to bottlenecking it on a small pipe at 1200 per second. But uh, so far, at least, we don't have any great need to consume water quickly. This is less than half of what this machine can produce. And as long as we have two pipes um, outputting it, it's not going to bottleneck on the pipes either. This uses 264 per second. That's actually not that much. Uh, steam is... We've got almost double what we need here. So, actually, this would use, like, 150 per second or something. Oh, it's it's literally one-to-one -one for steam to water, so that doesn't make sense. Does it? Steam is less dense water with more energy. If it's volume we're talking about, Whatever, it's fine. Um, so actually, we would be only consuming 160 water per second if this was going full speed. Same mass, though? Uh, should be? I mean, like, if you don't count the air, or whatever fluid... Compressed steam? Maybe. That's kind of trippy to think about. Is it okay to just have... Well, no, I think I would like to include water on the fluid bus that we're going to have here. But... We can't use all of these for outputs. Hmm... Is it okay to just bring this down here and accumulate the water? 
or are we going to end up having a much higher demand for it? I guess we... Well, no, I, I, was, I almost said I guess we can always redesign this, but when all of this is in place and it's full of fluid that we don't want to lose, not so much. So that that's kind of a lie. If I do put the biochemical facility right here, making water, um, it's gonna, if we're gonna put some in storage, it has to bottleneck out of this pipe. Is that okay? Is it totally fine to do that? Maybe bring it down this way? Compressing it would raise the temperature even more. That's probably true. I'm no physicist, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. It's just hot water until you release pressure. Interesting. I don't know, this fits just way too well. And I don't think we're going to need that kind of insane throughput. Uh, I don't think we're going to need particularly crazy water throughput. Um, so maybe we'll just have a bit of storage just in case. Alright, so tentatively this is what we're going to settle on. Um, how much ice does this use at full speed? 16 per second. We definitely want two stack inserters for that. And um, these should be able to keep up with eight per second pretty easily. Yeah, I'll probably settle uh, settle on that. We'll probably stick with that. Now we need to figure out where we're going to fit lubricant, which is... I mean, it's literally just going to be one machine. Probably just put it up here somewhere. Or maybe behind the heavy oil, because heavy oil is all it needs. Something like this. Oh, that's input. Wait. Oh yeah, no, that makes sense. Uh, we could do this one. We can't do it there. Um... One, two, hang on. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. That's what I thought. Can I get a fiver? There's a fiver. So heavy oil goes to lubricant which we're probably not going to need anywhere near as much storage for, right? It's not like we'll be needing to make space belt up here. I'm sure something will turn up. That's why I want to leave room for every possible fluid between these machines. Hmm. Uh, cosmic water is lubricant and... Okay, how is this going to fit together? Water and lubricant. That might 
be bad. No, it's those are inputs. Okay, cool. Uh, if we do it like this, we can link them with undergrounds. How much does this use? 394 water per second. Okay. Maybe we'll put the lubricant machine over this way. And I kind of think it would be good to have uh, plenty of water storage the more I think about it. Can I rotate these so that the lubricant is the input up here? Yes. I kind of like the way that lines up. We might move this over a bit. How are we going to get water over here? I don't particularly like this so far, but we'll see where it goes. That actually fits perfectly. I might have to do it. <laughs> So that is water and lubricant in, cosmic water out. And then we make What is this called again? Oh, there it is. Chemical gel requires cosmic water and petroleum. Oh, look, we've got cosmic water and petroleum in the same place. But obviously this giant pipe is not necessarily going to make things very neat. If we put this somewhere like here, maybe don't use the giant pipe, or have the giant pipe go this way, or have the heavy oil go all the way down here. I don't like that either. Oh, we don't have to have the heavy oil come from here in particular. All right, how about I do like this layout. It looks kind of good. What's the rate? 40 cosmic water per second. If I have... Wait, what's the... That's only 4 lubricant per second. Wow, okay. Um, and a lot of water. Maybe we could do, like, 4 of these? Doesn't let us rotate them. Can we do it like this? Maybe? If for nothing more than aesthetics? Um, I'm not sure how the loop... Oh, never mind. Okay, that's actually really good. That's a perfect fit for a fiver. Do I have a fiver lying around? Yes. That is not a perfect fit for a fiver. Whoops. You moved the thing, so ignore my above message. Too late. Will the cosmic water go in your tank on the right. Um, I think it was lined up so that it wasn't quite going to do that like this or like this. I did glance at that just for a moment a while ago, but 
Uh, didn't really worry too much about it for now. Um, where would a substation go in all this? Nowhere. But I really like the look of this one. Maybe. So how are we going to get water to... That's upsetting. Oh, that's fine, I guess. Heavy oil we can get from anywhere. Like here. Water, we need to go straight down the middle. Maybe we could put it somewhere like this. That's not quite right. That's definitely too close. How about this? I think I like where this is going. Uh, what? Oh, I can't... I can't do that both ways. Hmm. Maybe we should rotate these again? Well, there's actually only one angle that lubricant goes in. Like this. Uh, tequila Rosewood, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It was lined up at one point, but it's been all over since. Oh no. Um, I really want the lubricant to come down this way, but I want the water to... There's actually no other inputs for water like this. I guess we could... Have the water come in like this, and lubricant, not like that, lubricant would have to go around, we can't set it up so that water would have to go around, right? Uh, there's another lubricant output over here. That's not so bad, I guess. How many tiles is this? Ten. In other words, the long pipe will not line up very well. We could do a couple of threes for no reason. Sort of looks more consistent. So, would this keep up? Uh, four of these is 80. Oh, it's only 8 lubricant per second. 792 water. Fair enough. I guess if... Well, no, this is fine, actually. Alright, what else? We've got... Wait, what is this? Oh, it's making space manufactories. I'll probably put that in B. 
the sushi uh, sushi area. I almost forgot about this thing. So what does it want? Petroleum and cosmic water. How do I line up? I can't have inputs from both sides. It has to be like one corner has a couple of the inputs. That's a little bit upsetting. Although we could do it here. No matter what I do, the petroleum and the uh, water are on the wrong side of each other. There must be... Okay, that's not true, but I wanted to say there must be a way to make this fairly neat. Um, if only that pipe right there, the input could be petroleum, and it would be perfect. As it is, um, I don't hate this too much. Although, we're going to have to have We're going to have to have the cosmic water coming out of here, go all the way around the sides. One, two, three, four, five, does that reach? Nope. Yeah, it's not too bad. I just don't like this pipe out here. And obviously this one is going to have to connect like so. Just barely reaches, that's good. How much petroleum does one of these things use? Only a hundred per second. So now we've got... Should we make some copious storage for each of these? No, I think I remember looking at the output for Space Manufactory, and it already has 5.9 thousand chemical gel just by itself. Is this the first time you've played SE? Just looking for help with it? Uh, yes it is. The so what's up? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Watching this reminds me of how cool the space exploration part is. If only it wasn't such a pain to set up a supply line in space. Yeah, well, it's gonna... It's sort of gonna have to be the first time you set it up, right? Kind of. Uh, I don't know if I said Heintje. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. In any case, I just said it. This only requires one chemical gel. I... I'm going to go out on a limb and say... We're not going to need storage for this since it holds on to 6,000 by itself. And this uses less than one per second. Although it's quite slow, maybe we want to make some more of these. But probably fewer than 20. This thing uses... and that's actually quite slow as well. Canon all the things. You can't canon all the things. I was going to canon science, but it doesn't let me. We still haven't drained this. 
I haven't touched this for eons, and it's literally just a storage tank pointing at the pipe where all of the chemical gel goes. Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to need storage for this. At least the input here isn't like 5,000. Okay. So we'll leave that as it is. Um, 3.9 thousand uh, cosmic water stored in each of these. I don't think we need storage for that either. We should probably have some storage for lubricant though. Um, maybe make this look a bit better while we're at it. That can just go there. You can rocket science? Wait, do you mean that you can use the cannon for rocket science, or that you can put science in a rocket? Rough data thingies are used a lot? Yeah, I kind of figured. Um, we're going to need some sulfur. I think I just want to make one machine for most of these things, but I want to... I want to make sure I leave room to expand. On the off chance we need another one of these. Um, probably just do it like that. That's going to be pretty easy. Although I haven't thought about where... That's a good idea, actually. Just design the expansion into it in the first place. I haven't figured out how we're going to get the chemical gel out of here. I might have to move things around a bit, unless we're going to have some serious spaghetti. Does putting science into a rocket make it rocket science? Oh, you got me. Okay. Uh, where the heck am I gonna... Maybe I should put this somewhere else. But then we gotta get petroleum over there as well. That's... unhelpful. Hmm. Maybe? Let's get this out of the way. And we'll move this thing wherever. Actually, something more like this. So it does need water. Let's line it up down there. We'll just make it more spacious. We've got literally infinite space. All we need to do is keep making scaffolding. Alright. I guess we will have a giant pipe coming up here. Maybe that's how we'll decide where to put this. That's a little bit close. There's no way for petroleum to get out this way now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Where's that five pipe? That would be totally fine, actually.
Also, now that I think about it, I haven't really left room for the power management to turn cracking on it off. Uh, maybe we could control it with pumps instead, since power is, like, no issue whatsoever. If we do that, though... How? Hmm. This is heavy oil. Okay, that one's pretty easy. Uh, we do need an underground there just to not touch that water. Actually, that probably wouldn't matter, but I think I like this better anyway. The most infuriating thing in SE is biters. Well, luckily we've got them under control on Nalvis at least. Um, I did use a wall design that I built in a Rampant Deathworld playthrough, so it gets the job done. But I'm guessing you're also talking about, like, invading planets. So, how... Oh. Oh, that's convenient. That'll work. Yeah, I don't think this pipe is going to matter. And that... I am of suboptimal intelligence. That's going to connect right there. Um, what if I rotate it around? That isn't going to help. I really want these next to each other if I can. So close and yet so far. If you start a new game, you can turn off the biters on Nalvis. As in just on Nalvis? That sounds good. If you need to defend mining planets, it gets tiring. Bonk. Spider settings only change the starting planet. Interesting. On other planets, don't look at the planet before you actually want to go there. As soon as you open the planet, the biters start expanding. Yeah, I heard of that. Um, but you can... You can, like, delete the surface, right? Uh... Yeah, here it is. Although I'm assuming that doesn't, like, get rid of the biters that have expanded or anything. I need, need to steal that idea from you, the bunk? By all means. Everything is a remix. Uh, there's really no way to do this very well, is there? If I move this over one tile, I, I guess I can live with that. I'll have to... Whoops. I have to do it like so. No. That makes room for a substation anyway. Except that one still wouldn't have power. Deletes the surface right at the bunk's end. <laughs> Nice. I got a plushy hammer, it doesn't make the bonk sound. <laughs> I think you need like a a hollow bat or something to make that bonk sound. That that is not where that uh pump would need to go. And you're pumping light oil into water. Yes indeed. Good catch. Um so I think we can reach this directly. 
uh, I'll probably just do what I usually do here. Well, this is actually not what I usually do. This is going to lack um, latch behavior. But other than that, this will be fine. So if light oil is greater than petroleum, if heavy oil is greater than light oil, And we're just going to read the one storage tank. Alright, I guess I can live with that. I don't know how, without these lovely pylons, I'm going to uh, make some kind of layout for power over here that I don't absolutely hate. I guess the answer is I'm not going to do that. Okay. So now that we've got a bit of room here and we're just waiting on petroleum and cosmic water. Can I maybe rotate this one? That should be fine. If you move it down a tile. Oops. Cosmic water. Cosmic water. I don't necessarily like how these don't have the same inputs up here, but I kind of would like to have it output to one pipe. Eleven. Can we get... There's no such thing as an eleven pipe. Alright, fine. And... Petroleum... That's a niner. I totally forgot that I had these on my hotbar this whole time. Luxuriously lurking. That now only works if heavy oil greater than light oil and petroleum greater than light oil? What do you mean? If we've got more heavy oil than light oil... We allow heavy oil to come into the input for cracking heavy to light. And if we've got more light than petroleum, we allow uh, light oil to be cracked to petroleum. Check its output. Light oil, light oil, petroleum... Heavy oil... well, there is no heavy oil output. I don't see any problem. Those three, five, seven, nine pipes are better. Uh, they are better in the sense that basically every piece of pipe has a fluid storage of 100. And even these giant pipes will only fit 100 fluid. And the way Factorio works with fluids, um, if you have a bunch of 15 tile long pipes, like so, oops, um, water will get from here to here. This is four, right? Yeah. Water will get from here to here just as easily as it gets from here to here. Uh, you've probably noticed how if you have, like, a long line of storage tanks, um, it takes a while for it to even out. 
it takes a lot less for the long pipes to even out, basically. Only outputs if the pump is on. Uh, which one? So if the pump is on, heavy oil is output is put through this pipe into cracking to light. Oh, uh, this you can't see it very well. In fact, you can't see it at all. But the uh, this right here is storage for light oil. Um, and there's a little pipe that there's an output for the light oil right here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I can't blame you for missing that one. It's sneaky. What if light oil is full but not heavy oil? Then we're probably not full on petroleum and we'll be cracking light oil to petroleum. Um, that's why I like to have these rows of storage for heavy light oil and petroleum because cracking only goes in one direction. Okay, I think... I think I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, let's make that bit more symmetrical. And unfortunately that's never going to line up. Well... If I moved this down like two tiles, I'm not going to do that. We'll just have this go here. It's not going to use petroleum that quickly, right? 100 per second each, 200 per second total. Uh, the pipe can do 1200. So no, this will be fine. And then... And then we can get our cosmic water onto the bus. Fantastic. So I think I'm pretty happy with this. We'll probably actually build it next time. Uh, decontamination facilities. We're going to be taking iron and glass directly from the bus. That goes straight into decontamination facility. Scrap goes into recycling facility. We really need to make sure there's room for the heavy oil. Um, It's an unusual problem to have all of the fluid outputs full, but we might even go as far as to just have like a dedicated storage tank or two for output from a recycling facility or two, and like a pump, a, a one-way pump to keep that empty and pump it all into the usual storage. If we really wanted to, we could also limit uh, coal liquefaction so that if heavy oil is full, or if, if, heavy, if heavy oil is getting close to full, um, then we'll stop coal liquefaction. We could, that's as simple as connecting uh, these stack inserters to a bit of storage tank. It's such a small amount of heavy oil that gets made by recycling, but it has to go somewhere. So basically it's a higher priority that this machine can work than these ones. Sulfur is obviously very straightforward uh, with what we've got. Uh, water and sulfur, though. Where is it going to fit amongst all of this? We've got water here, and we've got sulfuric acid here. That's 
that's not quite right. Well, that I think is a problem for next time. Let's give it a little savey wavy and see who's streaming Factorio today. Oh, Diablo. We always get him when he's trying to finish and then he says, oh no, I have to continue now. That's fun. We dropped in on a... Uh, a newer streamer yesterday, so I think we'll just go for Diablo today. Thanks for the stream, no worries. Uh, cheers, Gek, uh, Nick New. Thank you all for watching, do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord, the blueprints if you're interested, if you have questions or requests, or if there's something broken in the blueprints that I've published. By all means, let me know. Um, but for now, let's drop in on Diablo, shall we? And away we go. Take care, Yopo.